I forget how to save in GTA 5. I probably just lost, like, literally no progress because I didn't really do anything. Oh, so this whole stream might just be the prologue of the game because of the sole fact the prologue is, like... How do I say this? There's a reason I have 193 hours in this game. Is there? Which is shocking. I have almost 200 hours in this game, which is... Oh, my God. Oh. Wait, wait, what about the Final Fantasy X? Oh, my... <laughs> we'll we'll cover we'll talk about that later. Uh, anyways, I just want to do six. We'll talk though. about that later. What you get fucking stop locked? No, it's just like I just don't feel like it. <laughs> no, there you shit, boy. Also, I like how the moment you boot up the game, the game's like title screen. No need to no no need for theatrics, just title screen. The moment I boot up GTA Five, this man calls me. He's like, "Hey, you want to stream?" I'm like, "Okay." I ruin your fun. Nah, you didn't. I knew you were gonna call me at some point tonight. Can keep it at 1080p. 30. I was just dicking around in it. You didn't ruin much. Yeah, you weren't doing shit. But yeah. Um. Oh shit. Rising tide. Echo. Are uh, those the DLC for the game? Yeah, those are the. There was two DLCs. Echoes of the Fallen, which is just. Echoes of the Fallen is kind of underwhelming. Rising Tide is what I expected of the game, though. Echoes of the Fallen felt like it was when the devs were like, fuck, we don't have time for a proper secret boss. Quick, make a make a DLC for a dungeon. And it's like, yeah, this feels like a secret boss. And I beat that thing first try, God knows how, because it was a Kingdom Hearts fight, that thing. If there's one Final Fantasy game I want to watch, it's the one before this one. 15. With a car and shit, yeah. Wait, is Doc in the chat? Because I don't uh, see any chat messages. Oh. Um, I think it's just chat being weird. I think I need to reset it. Hold on. So, I'm assuming it's connects to Final Fantasy 1 because of the crystals? No. It's connected to the... It's, um, inspired... Heavily inspired by the original games. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And 6. This is just a return to form, essentially. With the crystals, fantasy elements, all that shit. I'm probably gonna, uh... I'm probably gonna emulate the GBA versions of the original Final Fantasies to Don't. Uh, play through them. Don't. Why? Two fucking sucks, and apparently the GBA versions are kind of iffy. I know two's the last worst Final Fantasy game ever made. Oh, it is because essentially tried I to do. I didn't say it. I was gonna play that one. I was gonna play uh, like four. Like essentially, four six, it tried, tried to do what good. it tried to do what Skyrim did, which is like you know attacking raise your attack stat using magic rage as your magic stat, except horribly done. Okay, here's the problem. Elder Scrolls can do that, because Elder Scrolls isn't a turn-based RPG. And it, here's the downside. However, also, another, another downside is that if you want to increase your HP, you gotta constantly be at low health. Which is dumb, because Oblivion, if you want, Oblivion, which is the last game to do that, if you want to increase your armor, just take hits. And just play the game normally. That's just how that works. Also, this is how the game starts. Like, hey, there's a giant phoenix. Kill it. No, you're the phoenix. You got to kill the Ifrit. You can tell it's Ifrit from the devil horns. Because, like 14, this game has a lot of emphasis on the summons. Because for some reason, FF14, for some reason, Creative Business Unit 13 is obsessed with summons, apparently, for some reason. If, if I ever made, like, a Final Fantasy spinoff, I would make it... I would literally make it so you have to survive in the world of Final Fantasy Summons, wherever the fuck they come from. That sounds like a good... Not, actually... Actually... Not go a lie? That sounds like a good, sick idea, actually. Where essentially the summons are essentially rogue gods that are punishing humanity for its sins. And I'm like, that's actually sick, actually. Not go lie. It wouldn't be a full creature tamer, but you'd have the ability to essentially like capture some of them and use them. Yeah, because here's the thing, it's CBU 13 has to be the one to make it because they're the ones experienced with summons the most. Like I said, 14 is literally just summons. Like literally the whole plot of 14 is just involving the summons and shit. So, yeah. Oh, Final Fantasy Forgotten or Final Fantasy Forgotten Realms. Like Final Fantasy 17. Oh, dude, Final Fantasy 17 should be the, that should be the plot for FF17. Like summons went rogue, and it's like a post-apocalypse. 
Both camps have begun to stir. You all know the target. Shiva's dominant. Oh yeah, they also and named only um the dominant. They um No one else. Oh yeah, I forgot. Where's the fun in that? Let me just let's just watch the cutscene. The girl will be among them. Our kind do not question orders. We follow them. Try to keep that in mind. Probably because I'm watching in a lower resolution, but this game kind the face the character models kind of look like they're from the Xbox One or late 360. I think I told you this before. FF16 is an action game running on an MMO engine, and that's the problem. MMO engines are meant for large. That explains it. Are meant for large, low poly environments. You know, to account for like players effects and all that shit this is an action game running on an mmo engine with too much detail in it as much as i hate final fantasy 13 i still think it's the best looking one out of a lot like graphically like you're not alone on that a lot of people agree that has one of the best art styles in the series that game along with fable 2 were literally put on the 360 to show up the 360's graphical capabilities at the time i'm not kidding that's why they were put on there yeah i agree with you it's insane yes sir that is the only reason I think Microsoft wanted Final Fantasy on the 360 besides getting more of a Japanese or a Japanese market into the 360. Yeah, Final Fantasy as a whole has always been like a a graphic powerhouse of a series. Like it's always been like um, a series known for being graphically heavy. One thing that always surprised me was when Naruto, the Ninja Storm games, which were always PlayStation exclusive, went from PlayStation to being on Xbox with the second game which actually surprised me and it helped a lot with the sales because didn't the first game have like an open Some world time. but it ran like shit uh ninja storm 2 ninja storm 2's open world was like okay i mean it was like very like linear but it was still fun yeah i think oh. my favorite out of the lot was two three was good and four was also, just a fucking trash fire. Also a war, war zone. War zone going on. I see. Ah, Chocobo Knights. That's awesome. <laughs> Get him, you overgrown Tamagotchis. Watch this. For a game running on the MMO engine, the stuff you see is amazing. Like, this is all in an engine. These are all the graphics in the game. Oh, the particle effects and lighting is good. I'm just saying the character models look a bit off. Again, it could just be because I'm viewing this at like 720p, possibly. I oh, know, it says 20, 20, 1080, 1080, 30 frames a second. Yeah, this game was on a dynamic resolution. Here's the thing, JK. PS5s are much more available to buy nowadays, so it's possible you can get one. I cannot see chat because it's not coming up on my YouTube feed because I think I have the wrong video of yours end. Yes, you are. I'm sharing the game on Discord with you. The so chat, if I'm ignoring you, I apologize. Blame this man. Did you not pledge your swords to our cause? I need a PS5. Want mine, JK? I barely use it. I'm kidding. The King of Walud is our guest. There may or may not be a fly nest currently in my fucking PlayStation because, uh... You know I have my cats in my room? Yeah. Also, cutscene. Watch it. It's great. I need to... Case in point, I need to clean my PS5. Like, deep clean it. Ah, uh, oh, that's understandable. Well, at least you can watch this instead. Also, the one hot chick in the game. Hey, yeah, Benedicta. that was a fucked up joke. I'm sorry. Hey, Benedicta. I wonder that you summoned us at all. I had to pay like 700 for mine because scalpers. It was the Dalmex who drove back the Crusaders in the Battle of the Twin Realms, was it not? 
Oh, you could definitely tell she's meant to like be. Or am I mistaken? <laughs> oh God, the fan art that was made because of her. I, I, I there was a lot of it. I can tell. Has yet to take the field. Is there a lot of like political fucking shit in this? Like, no, yes, actual politics, not identity politics. Like actual politics, like involving government and shit. Perhaps you have not heard, but the Iron Blood now have their own dominant. We would be fools to underestimate them. Bugger their knights. What did you say? <laughs> Bugger their knights. Should this just okay, kill me, Ben? Look how fucking big this guy is, man. He is huge. They got the most Russian of Russian actors to voice this guy, and I approve. He's not Russian. He's just Cockney. Pawns to line up before taking to the board. Luckily, this game's coming to PC, JK. So if you want to play it on PC, go ahead. And the specs are really lenient. Uh, minimum is like 1080, 60 or some shit, or a 1060 RTX. Uh, this game's exclusive to the PlayStation, right? Yeah, it's coming out on PC, I think, next month. I was gonna say, because I could probably get I could probably get JK a fucking Xbox for cheap. Because I know it plays. This game is over. But this game's PlayStation exclusive. Yeah, it's coming to PC though. And it took Square this long to realize. You know what? We should put all our exclusives on PC. Exclusives are like a double-edged sword now, because when you don't have them, you feel like your system has no content. But again, we're in a world also, where... Also, watch uh, this, watch this, watch this. Benedict. Watch this. <laughs> God, her poor... I live in Oz. Her poor... Oh, yeah, you do. God, her poor... I was say, if you're in the States, I know we can get a cheap Xbox, but... God, her crotch must be sore. <laughs> yeah. That man is holding her up by her crotch. Ten bucks saying her crotch is sore as fuck. <laughs> wow, they are treading the line with that A rating. M rating. A rating. When games have like straight up sex in them, they get an M A rating. It's not afraid to show. Oh no no no! Wait 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 wait! That's when sex is the focus. I'm wrong. The front lines are gone. This is our chance. The chaos will conceal us. Yes, it will. Let me make the game a bit louder because it's a bit too quiet. Also, I had on my end, I had this game running on performance mode, but even then, the performance mode is a bit iffy. Because when like, you're in open world sections, like I said, it's an MMO engine running an action game. And it's an engine not primarily built for that, so they have to heavily modify the engine just to get the damn thing to run. See, I just I just throw balls to the wall at my PlayStation, just throw everything in fucking, like, quality mode or graphics mode. Because it's like, it's a PS5, it can handle it. That's how I play Borderlands, actually. But yeah, like, FF16 is a game that, like I said, MMO engine running an action game. And you can clearly tell it's not made for that. Take the van. Like, does it play well? Yes, it plays gr amazingly. But when things get really hectic, you can tell the game is not meant for that in terms of detail as well. Wait. Something's not right. So these fucking video game alchemists somehow <laughs> threw a DMC game style game onto an MMO engine and called it Final Fantasy. Yep. Also, oh, hey, shit. That's hey, Titan. We now interrupt Final Fantasy to bring you Shadow of Colossus. <laughs> That's fucked up thing. It's, it feels like that at some point. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, we need to play Shadow of Colossus. I need to buy the remake. Oh, Shiva! Let's go! I'm sure you own a copy of that and don't need the remake. There's like... That game is ported like 50,000 times. No, it's not on PS4, unfortunately. Not the original. Oh. That game was ported like 50 times, so the fuck is it on PS4? I don't know. Also, Shiva. Let's go! Best best summon girl. Let's go. This is also my favorite design of Shiva. Isn't Shiva in it? Isn't Shiva a uh, god from India? Yes, but they may in Final Fantasy, she's an ice goddess. Neat. I know it's neat. 
And her best design is arguably FF10's design. Jesus Christ, I'd hate to see fucking, uh... Agni. Dude, there's literally a someone called Diablo in Final Fantasy. I do not want to hear any talk. I just met... We now... We now interrupt Final Fantasy to bring you an episode of Attack on Titan. That's literally what happens here. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. That joke never gets old for me, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, these goddamn tech wizards somehow managed to get this game looking like this on an MMO engine. The, en the okay, same. Okay, I'm gonna call bullshit. The same engine that's no, used to run that. FF14. Okay, so this giant's very clearly a ground type, and the god goddess is a nice type. And Pokemon Logic, she should be winning this fight. Time to just mean she's a bad trainer. She doesn't have enough EVs for this. Oh boy, here's the gore! Watch this. It's gonna get intense. Watch this. What about a hamster eating a banana? Oh, Benedicto. Oh shit. Yeah, that destruction engine is pretty nice looking. Yeah, like I said, on an MMO engine, by the way. It sucks that Senua, the second Senua game, sucked because it looked actually pretty good from the previews and shit that we saw. No, apparently from what people have played, it's really fun. It's really good. It's just the fact that it's the length that's the uh, problem. Oh, it's the length? I thought the game was bad, but... No, the ga the game well, story is good, and long, but it's just not, it's, it's not the same like the first one. Um, the first game story was amazing. I feel like that's a good thing that people like your game so much. You're saying it's not long enough. You want more? That's literally what happened. And the thing is, the game's like not even a. It's a not even that much of a full price game. The problem Here's is the thing. The Senua series is more of an art game than anything. Yeah, it's more about the you play you play Senua for the story. All right, Wyvern, come on. Whoa! Also, watch this. I think this is where the gore comes in, I think. Someone's about to get got. Watch. Oh, 100%. One of his friends is going to eat shit right about now. Right there. <laughs> Hi, a boulder. That's some anime death shit right there. Oh, you know what show I need to watch? What? I need to watch that one. Oh, damn it, I forget the name. I don't remember the name now. Was that one Korean one where uh, that meme comes from with the statues? Yeah, also, l watch this. Solo oh, leveling! <laughs> Shit's gore. I was oh. always expecting pink mist in that show. That's what happens, right? I told you before. What? You do not get to die here. I mean, that's what happens. Dude, he has no more of his legs. I think he's fucked. Dude, no, Clive's still alive. He still has his legs. Oh, it looked like his fucking leg stumps were under the rock. Oh, don't worry, he's good. You know what I'd love to see, but they'll never make it? Also, fun fact, um, the little boy here. He's voiced by one of the, he's voiced by the little boy from, um, A Plague Tale. Oh, really? Yeah, he's voiced by the little kid, because apparently when they were looking for actors in the game, they looked at they one of the dev, I think Yoshi P or one of the devs played Plague Tale, and they saw his acting and it's like yo let's just hire the kid, and because well, if you're not dude careful, his acting was amazing. And they just got him here and it's amazing. I'm sure he'd find a way. My brother always looks after me, <laughs> right? Go on, you're sure. Not Liege. What is? Oh, he's a sire. Pepper. What's the word for a uh, knight's assist? Squire! That's it. Two arms. Wouldn't do I like how they're using realistic armor instead of like the typical fantasy bullshit armor here. Yeah, the FF16 goes for a bit of, in terms of like armor, they try to go for a bit of realism. I say in quotes, really. Here is a combat trainer. Yeah, because he's wearing, he's wearing proper gambeson, chainmail, and plate. It's probably really heavy, but he's really protected. He's also comfy. No, typically chainmail is warm with Gamerson, not plate. That's just me being a medieval nerd, though. 
Also, fun fact, when the game was coming out, people didn't like the HUD and the way it looked too much like FF14. But then once you actually play it, you realize that's probably the best. Because apparently the devs did try other options, but it looked way too cluttered. So they just went for what it, the FF14 style HUD. I'm hoping turn-based JRPGs don't die because they're still some of my favorites. I don't think they are, but... It's obviously for Rain a niche. Just, I don't think it's a secret. I'm a Pokemon man. No oh, shit. And a monster taming RPG man. Yes. Also, you can tell this game's DMC, except just swap square and triangle, and they basically get the oh, DMC excellent. controls. Oh, that's cool. I like the way fireballs work. Yeah, it's like there's a lot of detail in the animations. Like, it's insane how well, well these things look. On an MMO engine, Real mind the you. Like, dude, what? the lighting is fucking gorgeous. Like, it's shocking what they were able to do on an MMO engine. It's insane. Would you rather I flattened you? Can be arranged. Oh, it's on, motherfucker. I have no idea if the PS5 is able to run ray tracing. It's running at the equivalent of a 2080. It should? Yeah, it's running. Oh, no, games can run ray tracing on PS5. It's possible. A lot, like, Doom Eternal runs ray tracing. Apparently, the Switch Pro, the tablet, is going to have ray tracing, which sounds dope. Yeah, yeah, I yeah I know that JK. Like a lot of Final Fantasy, always had different types of combat. Like if, ever since um seven, they've been changing up the way combat works every now and then. Like they kept it for eight and nine, but then once ten came around, they went for like the oh like the turn order. And then eleven came out, which is an MMO. Twelve, which is like an MMO style RPG, but you know it was just depend on your taste. Fourteen was a straight up MMO, and fifteen was the first action RPG Final Fantasy, and then sixteen fully embraced it. Do you guys have, like, an RPG that you play that you just keep coming... You don't beat it at once, but you just keep coming back to it because you just want to savor it? This game, right here. Like, I keep coming back to it no matter how much I try. For me, it's, uh, the original Octopath. That game's just good. Because it's just... Doesn't this game turn into a bunch of button mashing, though, later on? No. Because... That's how it looked to me later on. Well, not exactly, because what what I end up doing is that I get the launcher, get a launcher in, um, combo four times, quick step combo four times, air step combo four times, air step, launch down, um, helm breaker, uh, charge, magic, launch again, and repeat. Damn. Yeah, you can get creative with it. It's just that's and that's only with basic attacks. Imagine with the actual magic skills. I see some crazy shit, man. It's amazing. You seem a little worse for wear. Like, this beautiful. game scratches my open-world DMC itch, and I love it. Did they I... announce Final Fantasy XVII yet? Because I, I know they announced the next Dragon Quest. And that's probably not coming out for a few years now. Uh, oh, uh, F-17, no, no nothing new yet. Dude, it's been a year since this game came out. They're not going to announce 17 yet. And death can be decided oh, I thought this game's been out for a few years now. That's been Must out since last year. Every I feel like it kind of shadow dropped. If you are to a place, not really. There was a lot of hype around it. Or the very least. Dude, I didn't sure even hear about a Final Fantasy 16 until it released. Let me tell you something. Why do you Our think practice. it was never talked about? What console was it on and how exclusive was it? From your soaking, PS5. That's, uh, that's all you need to know. He's drowned. They don't want to let people know in effect sales. Come then, Lord Rusty. Yep. Spar with me. Because it's the PS5. What do you expect? The PS5's launch fucked up so bad. Yeah. And because of it, this game's sales were bad. Well, at least in Square's eyes. But then again, Square's never satisfied. They will never be satisfied. Can't Which is why... That we're gonna copy claim. Which is why Square is thinking of just straight up porting the game to PC nowadays. Like, they're gonna port all their future games to PC. Which is like, more power, please. That's amazing. Not so much in Final Fantasy 13, you need a freaking lore guide in the game to understand what's going on half the time. Oh, this is so weird. All I know is in Final Fantasy 13, uh, apparently a god, the goddess is a douchebag and essentially makes everybody able to see it and make them work for her and shit. Which yeah, if they don't work for her, they die or something. It's fucking weird. Which one? 13. Oh. Haha, <laughs> how'd you like that, Murloc? That dude's like, here goes my 20 bucks. 
Rested at last. It's taken me long enough. That was a display worthy of your father. Oh, you ain't seen shit yet. It's just the end of the game. Let no one tell you otherwise. Including me. <laughs> what are you not gawping at? Ten bucks saying a lot of people were simping for young Clyde when the first game came when the game came out. Oh, you know they were. I mean, you, you should have seen the fangirls when they see 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 an adult Clive, because oh my god! You dirty, dirty fangirls, and your mothers too. Oh, you think this is bad? You should look at what happened when Fifteen came out. The absolute the shipping that was made. I can only imagine. You imagine how many Yowie ships were made when that shit came out? I, was just I can only imagine. Phoenix's flames are a gift. You mustn't waste them. It isn't a waste. My shields look after me. Why shouldn't I? <laughs> That's why. Oh, so when I'm at these magic too much, they die, I assume? You shouldn't be outdoors. I'll be fine. It's no spoilers. Don't push yourself. Because that's called that's good old fashioned time. foreshadowing. Father's back. Hey. Also, Clive's dad, he's a great dude. Fuck his mom, though. Your Grace, please. This is no place for one such as you. I would gladly brave hell itself to see my darling boy. Notice how she said boy and not boys. Gentlemen, mm -hmm. Rosaria thanks you for your indefatigable loyalty. Thank you. Also, she ain't loyal for shit. She can go fuck herself. She can go fuck a cactus. Joshua. You should not be out of doors. We have discussed this. I'm sorry. You can clearly tell he hates the she doesn't he doesn't really like his mother. I thought he was a girl at first. Look, see what I mean? Look at how he looks at him. It's like, fuck Come, you. Your father will be expecting us. See? Like, it's very abundant favoritism. Like, everyone sees it. Your everyone brother. knows it. Your grace. It's like, bro. Ugh. <laughs> fuck her, man. Yes, we did. What a way to treat your own flesh and blood. I know. It's not his fault. Not everyone can be born the Phoenix. It's alright, man. That's alright. Is that his sister or his girlfriend? His future girlfriend. She's like three years younger than him. How, how old are they here? I'm assuming he's like 16. 15. He's 15, he's 15, she's 12. Gotcha. Luckily, there is no shipping until they're grown up, so don't worry. Frankly. Luckily here, it's just implied childhood crush, so don't worry. Ah, uh, his character design looks sick, the father. Yeah. His sister slash wife, obviously. <laughs> slash wife. What kind of whoa? What kind of anime you think this is, right, K JK? My friends. Besides the good kind. Welcome home, father. Thank you, Joshua. You are well, I trust. Yes, father. Much better. Today, June and I went to the bay to watch Clive spar. Is that so? Pupper! Oh, quiet, Tom. Stop it, boy. Not now. He'll make a fine hound one day. Dude, for the longest time, I thought that was Troy Baker, but it's not. Lift up your head. Who is it? I don't know. He sounds familiar, though. I thought I heard him somewhere else, but he sounds like Troy Baker, and it's so weird to me. Capital rejoices at your safe return, Your Grace. No, JK, there's surprisingly no incest here. Don't worry about that. War is coming, my boy. We must make ready. Is the situation truly so grave? Come to the throne room. We will talk there. Yes, Father. 
You're great. <sighs> Come on, man. He's not that strict. Shields dismissed. It's his mom that's a bitch. The dad's fine. It's his mom that's a bitch. Yeah. You know what's fucked up? In terms of the incest, oh, it's, the, it's the mom that's actually incest, actually. Gross. Yeah, um, fun fact. The dad? Yeah, it's her cousin. Where do you think you're going, hmm? Of course he is. Not by blood, but it's still gross. Right. I always say think. I may be wrong. Cause this game the royalty, obviously, there's in it's incest. I mean, have you seen the British royal family? Because here's the thing. This game has a weird way of explaining its lore. Um, if you want to know its lore and like turn in the cutscenes, sure. what you need to do is pause the game and it'll show a glossary mid cutscene of, oh, here's the term that's been updated or here's a term that's you need to know in this right here. And is it useful for when you want to know what your certain things mean in cutscenes? Then it's fine, but... Even the, 13 does that too. Yeah, but here's the thing. It's way more egregious here. Um, because uh, the devs had a feeling the story's gonna be too convoluted, so what they did is that they added the glossary to a mid cutscene to allow you to understand what's going on. Like, this army attacked these guys in the year 1502. The year fit, and then like 1502 gets updated. 1502 was bloody, you know that oh, kind of shit. Here's the slave. Good as new. Forgive me, Lord Marquess. Pray do not concern yourself with this bungling car. Fuck you. Oh, damn you, fool. Uh, 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 I say to speak. Oh. What a dick. Well, there's, he's a slave master. What do you expect? Slave what masters are trouble? dicks. Well, yeah. Really? I mean, this was common you in the medieval period. Him. To be allowed to stand in your lordship's presence is more than his kind desert. I like how they reused the royalty plotline for this game, but did it so much better than 15. <laughs> Is it bad that I really want a game based on season two of uh season two of uh Vinland Saga? maybe. Stand, please. Or just something else, I don't know. Yeah. Stand. I trust his good fortune will continue. Of course, if that is your lordship's wish. Don't work too hard. Remember, it is for the good of the duchy that you serve. As do we all, my lord. Are they mute, the slaves? As do we all. Uh, no, they're not mute. They're just, you know, they're slaves. They're not expected to talk. Now. Back to your duties. Until, you know, asked to. What are the marks on their faces? Oh, that's uh, that's how you know they're slaves. Um, it's a it's a poison. Like for example, if they were to disobey, they would activate the poison and it would kill them. Uh, so like the ghetto mark or ghetto mark from uh, Naruto then. Yeah, except a lot more fucked up. Looks like they're getting ready for supper. <laughs> I think someone's hungry. I've never been up here. What's up here? I don't display my lord. Almost felt sorry for the lord commander. <laughs> He's like, oh yeah, like dude, it was so fucking fun watching you beat your teacher's ass. It was like the best. I shit bet ever. like twenty bucks on him, asshole. <laughs> and, and then the other guy's like, best twenty bucks I've ever got. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> I didn't even interrupt your thing. <laughs> like, I bet twenty bucks on him, asshole. I'm having my bearer. Oh, yeah, so they're not called slaves. They're not called slaves. They're called bearers. That's what they're called. Is it because they use magic? Yep. Simple. Oh, it's a simple. Because they use magic, they are slaves now. Because they use magic, we're going to use that shit for ourselves. That's pretty much it. Nice and quiet in here, Which, isn't honestly, it? if you think about it, that's kind of like a livestock thing. No shit. It's also kind of funny because uh -uh. here's the... Because funny thing is, like, how the usually with stories like this, I have to suspend my disbelief. It's like, you do realize they have magic, right? Which means they can easily destroy you all. So it's like, how the fuck do you pull that off? 
I always question stuff like that when it comes to these type of stories, where it's like, oh, I mean, that's probably what the mark for. Like the people with magic are the ones that slay instead of the opposite, which is like weird to me because it's like, dude, you have magic, you can easily destroy all of them. So why? Well, wasn't the whole thing that the people with magic were essentially like cast down from society? And Joshua alone. If any ill should befall him, it will be on your head. Oh fuck you, mom. Neglect your duties again. If any else should befall him, we will fucking cut your heads off. Hard not. I hate when games make doors loading screens like that. Creative. Good luck. I think one of the benefits of this being on an MMO engine is because they can have these huge environments, but with this much detail, it's obviously going to affect performance. Luckily, the closed-off environments are great. They don't really affect that much in terms of performance. Hey, Murloc. You know, I never understood the point of having just an empty-ass front room like that. How may I serve you? All right, you can stop licking my boots. Mother isn't here. <laughs> Even he knows his mom sucks. Most lie under a pall of black. In just these few moons, the blight has taken an eye on all of the northern reaches. It is only a matter of time before it crosses the border. By the flames? Nearly every available bed in the capital is already occupied by those fleeing the deadlands. Even if we were to send them south to Port Isolde, more would only follow in their wake. Every day we delay brings us closer to disaster. We must move now. Against the Iron Kingdom. We have traded blows with them for too long. It is time to end it. At the very least, we must secure Drake's breath. Without the blessing of the Mother Crystal, we cannot defend our realm from the spread of the Blight. The Iron Blood will not relinquish it easily. This will be a bitter fight. We ride for Phoenix Gate tomorrow. There we will listen to the words of our ancestors, as tradition dictates. Am I to go with you as Joshua's shield? There is something else I would have you do first. Rodney. You will have heard the reports, I am sure, of beastmen from the north being sighted within our borders. Goblins in the Stillwind Marshes. I know of the rumors, yes. Then you know what must be done. I will give you two good men. While we ride north tomorrow, you will journey to Stillwind, search it, and clear it. Then you will join us at Phoenix Gate. It is time to prove your strength. And shut your mother up for good. <laughs> I love this and man. And shut your mother up for good. <laughs> I love this man. I work at the divorce, but you I know, she'd take the time. castle and everything. Grace. She's probably going to plan a coup. Well, who knows? Listen, last woman I divorced tried to cut one of my balls off. It wasn't a good time. Rest well. We ride at dawn. Yes. Yes, Your Grace. Son, when you get married, seriously, don't marry a bitch. <laughs> or at least don't marry. Well, actually, you're royalty. You're gonna get married to a bitch regardless. <laughs> so I'm sorry, but it's just out the it's just the rules. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the rules. Sorry about that. <laughs> you know what's fucked up is that that's kind of true. <laughs> He's dead. That's the fucked up thing, because usually, most of the time, it's because um, people want something out of it, which is usually how you know. Royalty, ma royal, royal marriages go down. That's interesting. They're measuring distance in yards for this game and not meters, even though it's a Japanese game. Huh. Neat. Rest of your audiences, am I right? <laughs> Funny, because video games have taught me more about meters than I thought they ever would. Uh, a lot of games just measure shit in meters. And here's the scene that heavily implies he hates his wife. I because... Mean 
Because what she tries to do is gas him up and try to hype be her his hype man, but he's How like, you and I both know I'm not all that. Not long. Four days. Maybe five. For someone so hot, she she's such a bitch. And you will be taking Joshua. Well, I can't exactly leave him behind, can I? The blood of the Rosfields runs in his veins. Before going to war, we perform the rite at Phoenix Gate. It's our way. You know that. And only the dominant can enter the apothecary. So yes, I'm taking Joshua. Oh, to hell with your way! The boy is ill. You think I don't know that? But the boy is also the Phoenix. The heir to the throne. You can't keep him in swaddling clothes all of his life. Elwyn! Don't worry. Clive will watch over him. Though he is a youth of but 15 years, he's already a fine soldier. He will make a splendid shield. You see more in him than the Phoenix did. He was rejected, Elwyn. See what I mean? Our household has no place for such a failure. He is worthless. A man like any other. As am I, my dear. Like, watch this. Oh, roasted. You are the Archduke of Rosaria. Yeah, it's very... You can already tell who she is. Just from this cutscene oh. alone. So she's mad, and she's using him as a big tan. Before his time. I am merely... Warming the seat. Till Joshua comes of age. No, you can clearly tell she's just a power-hungry bitch. You are your father's firstborn son. And you sit upon the throne. Like, you see what I mean? Like, she Ooh, tries to hype him up right. and shit. We are going to have eight sex right now. Hold on, let me show you something. Uh, this is the act of time lore. This is how they explain their lore. Um, that's neat. That's how they do it. Situated in the heart of the Ducal capital of Rosalith, it is from the towering ivory fortress that the Archduke and his family ruled their nation. An architectural feat the founder himself would be proud of. The castle has stood since the early days of the Duchy and watched over the rise of this proud nation and the people who inhabit the city beneath. Why did I go British? How the fuck? I don't know how you even did that. What do you mean? Like, you noticed it too? <laughs> uh, yeah, I did. Like, I would just went British for no reason? <laughs> Duchess of Rosaria, wife of Archduke Elaine. Elwyn. Elwyn. And mother of Clive and Joshua. It's not only her beauty, but her connection to a bloodline that produced many previous dominants of the Phoenix. That her... Uh, I'm not going to read that whole thing. Dominance of the Phoenix led to her being proposed as the bride for the young Archduke. Indeed, the two are cut. <laughs> I was right! Oh, God! Indeed, the two are cousins. Having known from a young age that her purpose in life was to preserve her Phoenix Brain bloodline, she dotes on Joshua and scorns Clive. We have an early start. I'm going to sleep. You see what I mean? That she's kind of bitchy. Mm -hmm. That she just sucks. Hey, Clive. Jump. You know you want to do it. Jump. Do it, Clive. Hey, I'll be right back. Do it, Clive. Listen to the voices. Time to prove yourself. Wishing on a star. Hi, Jill. I'm a little old for that. <laughs> do a flip. <laughs> I should get some sleep. Right. going with them tomorrow, aren't you? Yeah, so I'm going to watch my brother die. Shield. I'm sworn to protect him. He takes I'm going to rest. sacrifice him to the gods is a really weird ritual. I really ritual. wish I could save him from himself. Clive, you... I have another mission too. Father has given me my first command. Well, if you're not going to pray to Metia for your safe return, I shall just have to do it for you. Sorry, a fly got in my PC. I had to get him out. Oh, wait, I could check. Hold on, let me check. Right, let me check if these two are cousins. Jill Warwick, born to apprentice in annoying territories. Jill was made a wall to reside after her homeland's incessant raids were quelled by the duchy. 
She was raised in Rosalith Castle alongside Clive and Joshua, who came to love her as a sister. So she's not her cousin. Okay, good. <laughs> she's his sister. Adoptive sister. Still incest. May I remind you, she's three years younger this, than this man. There's going to be another yeah. one. Yeah. Isn't there? Actually, it's legal. Never mind. It's fine. Since coming here, I've begun to take peace for granted. I assumed the war between our nations would be the last. But it never really ends, does it? It's a, it, it's a story inspired by Game of Thrones, and the war never really ends. Nope. The next war, war, will be war never changes. Sister wife, sister wife. You'll be all right, won't you, Clive? Damn it, shut up. Shield of Rosaria, after all. I'm blessed by the Phoenix. Your shield of Rosaria, and blessed by the penis. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> I mean, uh... Phoenix, yeah, that's what I said. It's an emotional moment, man. <laughs> you think I give a shit? It's getting cold. I don't give a shit either, but okay. You should go in. I do. Incest, I mean. more like a wincest. Shut up. Shut up. You just said that at the same time. Not no, bad, though. No, JK said it first. <laughs> that's more like a wincest. Listen, this isn't that kind of anime. We've been over this. Don't worry, they're step siblings. They're fine. Now hang on while I go marathon high school DXD. <laughs> Dude, I had a friend that was really into that anime, anime, and I'm like, I don't think I've met anyone that's into the story of that anime. That's what you fucked up. Imagine you teleport to FF16 and you got to meet young Clive, and it's like, you see this, Clive? And it shows a high school DXD. This is what the country that made you made. <laughs> Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> Boobies! I mean, high school DXD. Mm, I'll try. You would have think they would be chipping Joshua on her, but no. Dude, I literally thought the younger brother was a girl, considering the haircut and the clothing. Good luck. Well, I mean, all people in the Middle Ages, regard if all children in the Medieval Ages that were noble blood look like twinks, what do you expect? I mean, you're not wrong. Do you know in Ainu culture, they would name their uh, children disgusting things in hopes to keep like evil spirits away, and then they could change their name when they're older. That makes Phoenix that's understandable, State. actually. May the blessing of the crystals go with us. It's kind of weird, but it makes sense. Yeah, it's for their own protection. So they didn't they didn't do it uh, because they were cool. They did it's it for their own the safety. Marks. Open the gates. I mean, the Ainu were a very spiritual people, and they still are in Japan's. Modern culture is kind of racist fucktard towards them for no reason. Uh. Oh, that's some old. That's an old carriage. Oh my god. Lord Rossfield, allow me. I shall see her safely to Phoenix Gate. Thank you. Yeah, they called Goblin Slayer to take care of this goblin problem, and he was busy, so they're sending us instead. Yeah, they're sending a child. Also, best boys early on. These guys are great. To depart, my lord. I am Twink number one. May I say what an I am Twink number two. You. We are your meat shields. Like I said, these two are great. They're awesome. I love them. They're homies. Do they have actual names or are they just called like, the shields? And sword? Oh, they're called. They have names. I think their names are. Oh fuck! It's not showing up. Are a fierce That's a brilliant name. We underestimate them at our peril. Not today, we won't. Also, sorry if I'm talking over cutscenes. Oh yeah, by the way, their names are Wade and Tyler. The most... <laughs> For a game about... <laughs> that is some... Okay, we have an Australian in the chat. And those are the most Australian dude bro names I've ever heard in my life. And they're and I love it. And they have accents, too, so that makes sense. The blessing of the crystals go with us. Yes, sh yes, they shall. Dude, they are the bigs and wedge of this game! They are! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who are Biggs and Wedge? I'm oh, out of the loop. Uh, they're essentially, um, they're essentially the reoccurring characters in Final Fantasy as a whole, and they've been showing up since I think six, and they were in seven, they were in eight, they were in nine, 
They've been, they've been coming back for years now, and I I don't they don't call them Bigs or Wedge here, but Wade and Tyler might as well be Bigs and Wedge. <laughs> it's great. Oh, environment. That's how you should Feels see like it. Feels like they had a bigger budget for 15 than this one though. Oh, they did. Open for those goblins. Because 15 took 10 years, remember? So they essentially had to cobble together another fun. So they essentially cobbled together another Final Fantasy for next generation using what they had. No, they real because no. What happened was is that Square saw that F414 was successful, and they realized that that the company at the studio was awesome. So they're like, you know what? Let's have these guys do the next F Final Fantasy. They clearly know what they're doing. Not exactly like, the most. We've lost our touch with the fellow youth. But who do you imagine would maintain it? All fled from the blight. Uh, Goblin Slayer. He kills goblins on the daily. The game is open location. You're, you choose a place to go and run around that place. Yeah, that's why I said you got to. You sort of got to look at the environments in this game like an MMO dungeon, essentially. It's all. Oh, like, so it's like Fable Two then. Yeah, you sort of got to look at it through an MMO lens in terms of the environments. Don't expect things like like Yakuza or FF15. It's more just look at the dungeons through an, uh, the lens of an MMO. It's very. Yeah, I kind of prefer a smaller open world than a bigger one. Well, that's the, exactly what this game is. They traded large open worlds for spectacle, which is fitting. Also, look at these ugly ass goblins. Jesus Christ, these are the ugliest I've ever seen them in Final Fantasy. <laughs> they look directly like the ones from Lord of the Rings. Like, it looks like fucking Gollum. Garen fucking T. Lord of the Rings was probably another inspiration for this game. <laughs> Mesa, oh. what the precious? Oh, precious! <laughs> All right, time to murder. I want the pro. Oh, I actually like their designs. Yeah, they're ugly as fuck. That's what they are. Perfect. Got them. They're supposed to be ugly as fuck. All right, time to check this. The Wait, why the hell are they level forty-three? Oh, new game plus. Oh. oh this is hard mode. This is hard mode. Is that why you're able to flame teleport all over the place? Yeah, Phoenix Shift. It's awesome. That's how Goblins. Phoenix Shift Shift is my go-to for combos. True. We should press on. There may be more ahead. Believe me, it is shocking what you could do with Phoenix Shift alone. By the way, have any of you seen that chat Goblin Slayer? I feel like this is his job. Like I said, look at the environments through the lens of an MMO. That's how you should look at these environments. Oh, yeah, this is very MMO-like. You're like going from like a battle arena to battle arena from the look of it. Yeah, like... Yeah, like, this has a very MMO area design, I can tell. Yeah. Here's, like, it's this a, is giving me uh, yeah, Fantasy Star Online 2 vibes. Okay. As much as I like uh, games that have their own currency, I prefer just to call it gold. It's easier that way. Yeah, well, Gil might as well be gold. Just place an O and put a D. But yeah, you could clearly see these environments were made to be like an MMO. You could clearly see that. I just got that and I had to leave to factor in my thoughts about it. What? The guild and gold thing. <laughs> How the fuck did you not realize that? I just spelled it out for you. Literally. I know. No, I realized that I'm like, oh, I'm fucking stupid. Yeah, these, yeah, that's one thing about this game that I remember one of the critiques for this game when the people were reviewing it is that, um, the game is great. Story-wise, it's amazing. Combat is great and it feels awesome. The problem is the environments where, like I said, they're very MMO in nature. So, it depends on if, you, if you're just into that type of stuff. I wonder if my one fan is mad that I'm not streaming Pokemon the night. Uh, I probably should have made a community post explaining why I wasn't. Let me do that real fast. Yeah, go, and let me leech some of your, on the, let me leech some of your viewers. <laughs> you mean the viewers that you sent over to me, which are technically yours? Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, 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 hey. We're like, hey. we're like spreading viewers like germs, and it's great. We're sharing viewers. Yeah. Well, I can trade in Saturday for your day if you want. I can make a shit game Saturday. Yeah, because oh boy, do I have some old shit piles? Because usually Saturday is for me when I stream whatever I want. But yeah. We can't stream on your end tomorrow though. 
I don't, unless I, I'll find something. Yeah, well... I'm trying to think what shit games I have besides Thank You Zero, because I tend not to buy shit these days. Yes, because you have taste. I mean, I'll buy shit on accident sometimes. I might just hook my Switch up to my, uh, TV. Ah, uh, never mind. You know what's a pain in the ass about not having Nintendo Switch online right now? What? I can't just cloud save transfer stuff from my one switch to the other. I wish cloud saves were just a separate fucking service. Be a nest of goblins. Cause cloud saves on switch are fucking amazing. If you haven't had to switch online, you just hit a button. Everything, or you don't even have to hit a button. Everything just goes over to the other switch without even needing to lift the finger. Oh, look at that. The, another goblin mage. Hey, buddy. I mean, I could just manually transfer the save data over. It's not a problem. Sneaky sods. We're trapped. My lord. I'm working on it. I just beat Ridley, or not Ridley. Uh, what the fuck's that He's dragon there, thing's there. name? I don't know. Kraid. I just beat Kraid. Man, was that a mess. First. Wait, you're at the boss already? Yeah, that is very MMO Hold on, dungeon. dude. I gotta do some be, right, be right back. I'm back. <sighs> we're, t we're talking about Christmas and summer in Australia. Nice. Anyway, it's gone. It's like time. <sighs> what the fuck were you doing? You're out of breath. I was running an acre and back. Jeez, man. Why did you run? You could have just walked. I could have got you out entertained. Yeah, I'm, uh... I don't want to keep him making him make wait. I don't want to see you die of fucking exhaustion. I'm good, don't worry. It's normal for me. Anyway, we got a new viewer where you were gone. Hey, Mars. How you doing? Oh, we know Mars. Yeah, he, he's been checking me out recently. I don't. Probably I was on hiatus. Yeah, you, you, when, you, when you were on hiatus. Anyways, Mars, this is JP, my co-host. He's back and out of retirement. What's up? I got called racist last night because I, because I didn't, I uh, I went to name a Pokemon with a naming fun and it came off as racist. Also, here's the big one. Here's Big Boy. Hey, it's the troll from Hogwarts. Good to see you got himself another job. Yes, he decided to be in a dark fantasy game where he doesn't get turned you know into mice. You know what's the most annoying fight in Hogwarts Legacy? Like, there was like a troll that like poachers were trying to get. And like you have to fight the troll and fight the poachers at the same time. So you have the poachers trying to cast a vodka Kadabra at you. Or like whatever the fuck they're trying to cast. And then you have the troll trying to murder your ass. Yeah, also yeah, Mars came by during like the Fire Emblem streams. He usually frequents those. Yeah. Aren't we almost done with Fire Emblem? Yeah. Or it's 20 chapters in. I missed like a lot of Fire Emblem. Yeah, you missed How like, many chapters did I miss? At least nine. Is that sort of an endgame sword you're using? No, it's the beginning sword. You want endgame, there's a... Uh... You know what? The one thing I don't like about this game is the fact they hide the ultimate weapon behind New Game Plus, so you can't get it until you beat the New Game Plus, or do mostly all the side quests. playing New Game Plus. Yeah. I'm gonna make a separate save just so I can get the ultimate weapon on my end. Yeah, uh, Mars came by during uh, the Mega Man Zero All Nighter. You know the I one. Get that. Yeah, the one you joined late for because you crazy bitch. Yes, I'm crazy. How to do? I'm about to blow my fucking brains out. Never really liked these bosses. They're just way too tanky. So I just kind of do this over and over. I'm assuming it's got rated M not because of violence, but because of like subject matter. Subject matter, gore, uh, swearing, and subject matter, yeah. 
Isn't there actual incestual sex in this game? Um, it's a, it's there is implied versions of it. What it does is that like oh, it's like they'll they'll do it and it shows them naked afterwards, but it doesn't show the act of them doing it. Right. It's a it's what you call a soft M. A soft M. Like I think he, that's what you call it, right? When it's like the game Come barely qualifies for a rated you, M. Coward! After him before he summons the rest. That's what this game is. It's like a soft M. Dude, one thing I hate with the computer case I'm using is it allows fucking shit to get... Like, fucking, like, flying insects to get in my fucking computer that come in for the air conditioner. I wonder how this game's gonna run on PC, because I know the game... Here's the thing, the game runs like a dream on PS5 on performance mode. So the question is, how's it gonna run on PC? Because I know it's gonna run amazing if you have a good enough rig. I mean, I could probably run it pretty decently. Yeah, the, here's the thing, you can, because the minimum specs is 1060 RTX. Maybe you need like a 20 some series. You luckily you're fine. You have like a 2070, right? 180 super. Yeah, you're fine. Uh, cause uh, for rec for recommended it's like 1080p 60. You need that type of rig for 1080 gaming. So you're fine. I mean, during the holidays I'm gonna upgrade this thing to a 4070 super. Which got cheaper surprisingly. Like only a few hundred, right? I'm gonna go with the 80 again, but it's like I don't really need that kind of firepower at the moment. The games are getting better optimized. You say that. The problem is games are getting way too big for their own good. Well, no, because the video's entire line is like really weird and more to each other. I wonder how this game's gonna really look getting, like, once, uh, I wonder how this game's gonna look once you run it at like a proper 4K. Stay away from its mouth. Also, no risk, no reward is one of my favorite boss games in Final Fantasy because it's so good and hype. Yeah, that's what the battle theme for boss theme for this song is. It's called No Rush No Reward. It's amazing. It sounds like a uh, either a Dong and Rapa song or a fucking the title or the song itself. Know, sounds... The title. No Rush No Reward. I still love the name of the uh, Overworld theme and all the Dong and Rapa are called Beautiful Lie. Makes that's sense. Crazy. If we're gonna play Danganronpa, I'd rather just skip one and play oh, two. Oh yeah. The reason I say this game Final Fantasy mode is the hard mode is because um, they remove the buttons shown for quick time events. So that means you gotta sort of guess what buttons there were. Luckily they don't change from the main game, too, but you gotta be careful though. Like you gotta like look at the the vignette around the, vignette around the screen to figure out which button you need to press. Blue is square, red is R1. And then orange is like Before button mash. I love it looks like three different bosses. This is very MMO. Well, yeah, it's an MMO studio making the game. From the from the bland round dungeons to the friggin' like enemy class. You can no. Can't just up for long. Yeah. In terms of shouters, you yeah, probably could keep them at a 1080p effect resolution, but I don't like how it's So, the speedrun for this game is 6 hours, 58 minutes, and 43 seconds. By Gita Mo Moda of, of England. Dang. Now for the final push, my lord! Second place is Crystal Crown of Greece at 7 hours, 26 minutes, and 48 seconds. And third place is Shi Shirai Shichan. Shirai Shichan at 7 hours, 32 minutes, and 4 seconds in Japan. Shocking that it's lower. But there's probably going to be some weird movement tech that we'll figure out at some point. Oh no! Oh, this thing can jump. Yes, I'd rather prefer that too. I'd rather we made it die. Yeah, the like combat-wise, there's barely any hiccups. But when like, like you're roaming the world, that's when the performance starts to get dip. 
What the fuck? One of the speedrunning dudes that did this listed his country as just Valhalla. <laughs> what do you even do that? I don't know. You find a way, I guess. With a custom flag. What the fuck? There we go. Wait, there's a speed run for getting over it with Bennett Foddy. <laughs> oh god, how do you speed? Wait a minute, it is possible. How just... in God's name do you beat this game in less than a minute? I wonder how they used to make water That's pouches like I'd that. Not just goblins in Rosaria, but more balls too. I'll petition His Grace to send a detachment. If we don't stop them here, they'll be at our gates before long. Yep. Pretty much. We should get moving. We don't want to be caught out here after dark. If we set off now, we can still reach Phoenix Gate before nightfall. Also, you could tell. Oh, he's not wearing plate. He's wearing all Gamberson. Yeah. Also, one thing that's cool about about uh, Clive is that. He's such a Chad that even when he was 15, people were singing songs about him. Oh, it's a coin near Witcher. I fucking love that song. Oh, dude, it's so good. One of the and unfortunately, it's in the only good season, season one. Unfortunately, John made a metal. Jonathan Young made a metal version of it. It's fucking great. It is great, but unfortunately, it's stuck in the only good season. I didn't know that show had multiple seasons. It's going on four, but they replaced Henry Cavill for season four because they, he was he was arguing with them over how the Geralt would act in the books, and which is funny, because the series is based off the books on Netflix. The Netflix one's based off the books, not the games. The oh, Last of Us show again another fucking season. Yeah, it's getting a season two. It's gonna be. They're pro Wait till you hear part, Last of Us part two is gonna have to take like two or three seasons to finish. Draws his sword. You're telling stories about him. The goblin chief runs off screaming. Straight down on Marvel's gullet. <laughs> this looks like such a fun dinner party, yo. It does. Like, like you can, dude, it's always fun with a bunch of dudes just start getting drunk out of nowhere and just start singing out of nowhere. It's great. Have, have you been to a wedding? Yes. It's amazing. With alcohol? Oh, it's great. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is. The young lord has a bright future ahead of him. Aye. On one of these nights, he I got so drunk at my sister's wedding that I fucking almost, <laughs> almost knocked the wedding cake. How the fuck did you pull that off? Well, we were doing the cha-cha slide, and the only space for me was in the corner of the dance floor, and they had the fucking cake <laughs> on the table behind me. <laughs> I almost fucking knocked it over. It was like, slide to the left, and I fucking noticed it. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> oh, watch this. To be fair, her cake kind of sucked. Watch this. Imagine the motion captures doing this scene. They have to like pretend to have a dinner party the whole time. They probably actually were eating stuff. Yeah. I like how you know what? Not gonna lie, if I were to do a just motion capture and there was a dinner scene, I would just Well it has been a long day. My sister jump scared with makeup. Anyways, if I were to do a dinner party like this, just have the food actually there and then when the it's time to eat, just have the motion capture artist just eat. The only reason I can imagine I'm not doing that is because mocap suits are expensive. And they want to believe break them. me. I wanted to do a Gans cosplay and just buy a black one and hook the uh, little plastic things to it. Guess how much a basic mocap suit is? Thirty thousand. Three thousand dollars. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> I mean, I could just get spandex and do it that way. But the thing is, you need like the overhood for Gans, and you can't really do it that way. Yeah. With just like spandex. You have been blessed. Because I'm not good at selling my own clothes. I'd rather just use, like, existing clothes to make a cosplay out of. Yeah, that's understandable. Our family has been chosen add accessories to, to that. I'm all... JK, I'm always sus about characters named Joshua ever since I played so Tui. Yeah, I don't blame you. Wait, what? Um... You, very, you know the world ends with you? There's yeah. a character named Joshua who essentially has a... Let's just, let's just listen to this for now. You could tell they're having a fun time. They're all just fucking hammered. <laughs> Look at them. Yeah. They are clearly shit-faced. Oh, yeah. 
They're clearly shit faced. Even the king's like, fuck yeah, this is awesome. A man of the people, of course. He probably was like a warrior like this in his prime. <laughs> Dance with the louder for Yeah, he actually respects his men. Yeah, he respects his men a lot. Unfortunately, the mom doesn't. But yeah. Obviously, um, Edwin really cares for his sons and his family and his kingdom. He cares about them a lot. Dude, he's so, based as hell. I love him. Yeah, savor it. I'm assuming he dies. What do you think? This is FF16. They wanted to make the, they, want, they wanted to make this game gritty. Of course he is. So much for you being a and they needed to explain how Clive became where he was in the first place. So yeah. Hey, Josh. Imagine having the name of Joshua, and it's just like, so oh my god, movie? it's the iconic Josh from Final Fantasy XVI. <laughs> this guy is just called Josh. <laughs> oh, from the Drake and Josh. Hold yes. on, before we continue. Did you ever hear about that thing where, um, since, you know how Josh is such a super common name? Yeah. Um, I don't know if you know this. Um, <laughs> oh my god, it's Edgy Steve. <laughs> <laughs> and she's Steve, they call Josh. No, like, what ends up happening is that there was an event that was on Facebook where he says, any and all Joshes, come over to this environment and we could settle who is the true Josh. <laughs> it was amazing. Oh, that's great. And so a bunch of people named Josh just showed up, and the rules were whoever is the last one to survive is, named, is the true Josh, and they will keep their name. Everyone else has to change their names <laughs> if... <laughs> oh, that's great. It is awesome. Dude, what's the most common name in the English language? I want to see if you know this. Mike? No. It's a first and a last name. Muhammad? Have you seen Pocahontas? James? It's the only hint you're getting. James? No. No. Chat, have you seen Pocahontas? Is it with a J? Yes. John? What's the last name? Smith. Oh yes. my god. You got it! So <laughs> Smith. <John> Smith. <laughs> it's the most common name in the English language. Yeah. Alright, let's watch the cutscene. We need to appreciate this wholesomeness while it lasts. Through a marble. All the men were singing your praises. They never used to. When I joined the ranks, everyone thought I was a spoiled little lordling. Oh, how wrong they were. If I didn't know how to handle a sword, I'd be a laughing stock. The Archduke's firstborn failure. You're the one they really <laughs> John is biblical, Smith is from Metalworkers. Those metalheads must breed like crazy. <laughs> Hell yeah, they must. They don't believe in me. They believe in the power of the metal. That does breathe like crazy. I'm a metalhead, and I'm a virgin. I don't know what you're talking about. The of the Phoenix. That's clearly a, a lie. Of a life and death. Is it fair? Also, funnily enough, you... they say he's the Phoenix, which means later I on, since this game is people. very gritty, I don't have the strength. they try to do the fake out. You do. But the thing is, it's the Phoenix. What do you expect? Clive Phoenix, Phoenix from Marvel? His duty. I mean, can Phoenix revive from the dead? Ours was decided long ago. I don't know. Our ancestors I just know that's a superhero in Marvel. Is the Archduke of but yeah, if you know the legend, you already know the legend of the Phoenix, right? Where they die, they can just get reborn. That whenever our nation stood on a precipice. Yeah. The yeah, it's, the Phoenix is essentially immortal. The to drag us back from the brink. And the whole gimmick of this game is like it's a revenge story for like someone that you've lost, and I'm like, you could probably tell where this is going. It's your duty to bear that burden. What about you? I'm, I'm probably gonna die in a treat somewhere. That is why I was given the Phoenix's blessing. Yeah, pro hopefully on a beach, preferably on a beach. No matter what. Yeah. However hard it gets, I'll never let you down. 
I should always say both with the same earring. Thank you, Clive. Well, Why obviously, you they love each me? other. <laughs> Funnily enough, I remember my old game dev teacher used to say this, is that apparently Final Fantasy can never get the hair right. Right? Well, yeah, anime hair is very hard to do in video games. I should go inside. It's also, I love how, time. like, you expect Clive to be an edgelord with the way his hairstyle is, but in reality, he's one of the chillest dudes ever. Who? Clive. Look at his hair. He looks oh, like Clive. Like look at look at the hair over his eye. He looks like an edge lord. Oh, I see him. So yeah, he he looks like an edge lord. But the thing is, he's such a chill dude. Hey, bro, have you seen that episode of Game of Thrones last night? Nah, man, how was it? Uh, yeah, it was good. Oh, Prince Lannister got poisoned to death. He's like, <laughs> yo, he's talking about Game of Thrones. Oh shit. That'd be. A From the capital. They didn't order a supply run. It opens it the fuck up and it explodes. That'd be funny. You I love how they didn't check the cargo. The That's one thing you always want to do when you're a fucking medieval gate guard. Yeah, you always want to check the Customs 101, boys! This is why you should always check your supplies. The full of enterprising traders keen to keep us in line. Spare a the boys in What in there? See what I got watching like, that's what happened in that episode of Game of Thrones last night. Oh shit! <laughs> yup! That's fucked up. I feel like, you know what's fucked up? I feel like someone from Game of Thrones actually died like that. That's the fucked up part. I feel like someone did. Did someone? It's Game of Thrones. Usually no, that's that shit spoilers, happens. Bro. <laughs> also, like I said, there's a reason this game is a hard M. And you, like I said, the gore and the blood. Oh, I know what you are. You're a dick. You're some brick. Oh. I will make as many dumb jokes as it takes. Yes, to make we you will. Laugh. It's gonna be great. <laughs> the front guy's record slit. Oh, that's what happened in Game of Thrones last time. Oh, shit. <laughs> and he's just like... And it was like, oh no, my neck is slain. <laughs> I won't be able to see episode 9. No! I heard episode 9 sucks, his dying friend said. <laughs> Don't spoil it, asshole! Fucking dies. <laughs> Last words we're talking about Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you get these stupid fucking games? How did I get them? I made it. I started. I started it, but then I made it better. <laughs> like how the fuck? <laughs> oh, it's happening! All right, murder. Is that? Oh, he smells it. Oh boy. Ah, uh, oh, he even has a little sword. That's adorable. Fight, little wolf. Fight, gonna entertain me. Forgive me, my prince. Song's not out yet. I can legally Wait, sing it. You. Probably don't remember me. I remember. What is it? We're under attack. I don't know who they are, but they've set light to half the castle. I must get you to safety, Your Highness. Very well. I'm ready. Follow me, Your Highness. Oh, you play as his brother? For a bit. Also, look how big that look how big that sword is, Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's a medieval longsword. Yeah, but that was bad. You see the size of medieval longbow. That's his dodge. This is his dodge, by the way. Oh god, the iframes are ass. This awkward child movement. So, That's the point. Hurry. So is this dude betraying this kid? I think. No, he's loyal. He's loyal. He's one of the good ones. Oh, he's one of the actual guards. Yeah, he's one of the good ones. That's a smart plan, though. So these guys as like castle guards, and then just like invaded like that. What was that? I have to help them. No, like it was the traitors. They're just they disguised themselves as traitors and then the woman that left the guard down they slit their necks. Everything's on fire. You control fire, oh, Joshua, goodness, don't worry. No. You must do my duty. I just got hella fucking 
Plague Tale vibes from when he walked right through and it's like, everything's on fire. Because the actor is a Plague Tale actor, dude. I told you this. I know, but that's not why. It was just like the animation. Well, my guess is that was a callback because, like I said, they got the actor for the kid because he was really good in Plague Tale, so maybe it was a callback. Maybe. I saw them at the feast. They were laughing. Dude, this kid has got That's... a... This is Sandra Corgar. Depressing. Dude, this kid has got such a good career in acting in the future. Must he has a definite future in that in, the, in this career. Oh, voice acting, yeah. Yeah, voice... No, he's... No, acting in general. He definitely does have a career in that type of stuff. He's just really good. And I'm like, he's in the same vein as the child, as the actor for Alphonse on the O3 dub. Like, guarantee 10, 20 years from now, he's going to be a really good actor. Because he is great. You know what weird thing they did with Full Metal Alchemist compared to Full Metal Brotherhood? They changed the ethnicity of the princess from the first Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. Makes no sense why they did that. Wasn't it because the manga wasn't at the time? I don't know, but you think the first arc yeah. was history. Yeah, it was because the manga wasn't finished. Um, it was, that makes no sense. It was the first arc. My guess is the anime got... Uh, I'm guessing the manga got the anime like really early than it was supposed to. And they I mean, a... sometimes it happens where a production company will get like the wrong colors. That's why Vegeta's hair is red. In a... The original Dragon Ball anime, because they didn't get to that part in the manga yet. Until they fixed it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's my guess. But like like I said, this kid is going to have a huge career in acting by now. I wouldn't be because they got him back for Requiem. So I wonder how the, he's going to do future roles from now on. Because he is a talented actor for how old he is. Yeah. Well, I like how he gets exhausted when he casts. That's interesting. Yeah, well, yeah, he's not used to fighting. He's never really been trained to that. Remember, his mother likes to spoil him. She doesn't want him to fight, so it's pretty I obvious like that one she's not line. used to it. I like that one line from the dad. You can't keep him in swaddler's clothes forever. Yeah, that's the point. And because of that, it's it's become this. But he can't fight all that well. Damn it! His wounds are deep. I can save him. Oh no, Wedge is dying. Not Wedge! Your Highness, I... <sighs> Don't worry. You're going to be alright. Yeah, he has Kiriga. You'll be fine. <laughs> Don't worry. You'll be okay. I have bullshit video game healing powers. No, I'm not joking. He has like the best healing spell in Final Fantasy. <laughs> okay, so if you made a video game, and you had like potions, that could like heal, like a fantasy setting video game, and you had potions that could heal like any wound or whatever. How would you explain that? It would be like, oh, the mages are so, like the uh, mages heavily experimented with potions to see what would heal the most wounds faster, and they developed a concoction that essentially was so powerful that it could heal any wound. Like potions like these, realistically, would be seen as elixirs of sorts. I would describe my potion as a sensu bean almost from Dragon Ball. To where it can like get, it like gives you energy almost like a uh, yeah it's like almost like a drug like a hot upper drug but it doesn't actually heal you. He starts with Kiraga from a new game. Yep, pretty much. You know what I mean? It's kind of like a placebo almost. Yeah, it's like guarantee like the the potion if we're talking scientific terms is a goddamn miracle drug. That's what it is, like. Like, Except, my potion would stop your bleeding and give you energy, but it wouldn't, like, re-roll a limb or fucking cure cancer, you know? Oh, yeah, like, it's not that powerful, but they're still strong enough to close wounds. It's, I like, I like, yeah, like, that kind I of like how RE7 did healing items, because what RE7 did is that if you lost a limb, you, it is still possible to get that limb back. You just need to put the healing goop on it I'm so it can heal. Twist, One thing that Naruto did that annoyed me is they With fucked the wins, their whole healing system. Toward the end, and what I mean is, you literally had an arc where poor Lee was struggling to fucking get his like combat abilities back. But then by the end of Naruto, you're like, oh, don't worry, we can just fix everything with Hashirama cells. The North Gate up ahead. Yeah. There no problem. Was fucking stupid. Father, is what take it was. Joshua and get to safety. No, I'm not going without you. You're supposed to be my shield. Remember? 
like the big G God because I don't want to deal with the Christians. Why I'm going to hold the enemy here while you make your escape. If I had the ability to heal people with potions, I'd just call it a gift from God, like the like big G God, because I don't want to deal with Christians. Call me a witch and murder me. I just call it a gift from God. Call me a witch and murder me. Dude, uh... I will do my duty. You must do your duty, too. It was a weird... The witch... The Satan witch trials were a weird mixture of religious fear-mongering and, uh, possibly hysteria. You have to keep Father safe. 100%. I'm counting on I'm assuming he's lying to him when he says keep father safe, so I'm assuming his dad's a very capable fighter. Um, kinda. He... Most kings usually started as soldiers. He that got their own land via, like, tracks from he... winning a victory. Well, remember, he only became king because his dad died, so... That's the only reason That's what he's I mean. king. Oh. Well, he's probably a soldier, though, because most soldiers... Got like gifted land from like conquest, and then they ruled over it as king or duchess or whatever, or duke. That's pretty much what happened. They just like um. Oh god, the effects in this game look so good. Like this section right here, you can't see it because of stream. Dude, that smoke looks cool. Like you can't see it because of stream, but if you look at this through a 4K monitor, it looks gorgeous. Them particle effects are nuts. Yeah, all the budget went to the particle effects. That's where it went. Because, look, at look like, the, like, picking up a potion causes particle effects, the fire causes particle effects, there's smoke, the sparks from enemies causes those particle effects. There's a lot of them. Here's the thing with graphics in video games. A graphics card, a 3D render, a 3D accelerated graphics card, which is what most modern graphics cards are, can easily render, like, polygons and, like, textures, up, right? But when it comes to doing things like particle effects and sh shadows and lighting, that's, that's where a lot of tech comes in to balance the look. Yeah, that's yeah. It's the tech. It's why like um, games like Unreal, when they're basic, are able to be optimized really well. It's when you add like a bunch of different lighting systems, a lot of scripting systems, and just the way the game, just the way the game works to make it, it makes it like you know a tech problem. Because um, I remember when Jedi Survivor came out. That game was how do I say this? The game was rushed, me and they didn't have the time to optimize it. Because what ended up happening is that the game looked incredibly gorgeous, but the performance was absolute dog shit. The computer's graphics, they weren't anything special. Then we got, when NVIDIA and, AM, when NVIDIA and ATI came around, we got what was called a 3D accelerated graphic card, which handled like pretty much 3D and everything. We didn't have like ray tracing or like proper lighting effects, that's just what it did. And uh, you know what I'm mad about? I had I got my hands on an ATI 3D accelerated card that they used the same one they used to develop Real Christmas Tycoon escape. 3 on. But guess what? As you come on. Yeah. It was broken. Oh, of course it fucking was. I was upset. So I wanted to keep. I should have just kept it as like a collector's item, but I just would have gathered dust. And like I might as well just tech recycle. It. God, I'm not used to I wanted to get that machine running because I want to see how Real Christmas Tycoon 3 ran on original ATI hardware because that's what it was advertised to run on and that's what it was developed on, you know? So I never ran Real Christmas Tycoon, even though Real Christmas Tycoon 3 ran great no matter what you that's ran it on, you didn't need a 3D accelerated right. graphics card to really run it. I'm fine. It's my father and Joshua. May I remind you, all we this is back. on an MMO engine! You said it fifty thousand times, and I will I keep know. and I'll keep saying it because it's a technical fucking marvel how they pulled it off. I think it's Meta Knight. No, it's a dragoon. No, it's Meta Knight. May I have this done? No, Meta Knight's cool. This is not cool. He's an imperial. Meta Knight's cool. Fuck this guy. You are the shield who was blessed by the phoenix. Not that it will save you. Shut it, you weeb. I don't Get care. Portal and three. Stop having particle effects. Oh, dude. Dude, Borderlands 3 on... Wait, you had issues running Borderlands 3? I never did. Yeah. Even on PS4 Pro, it was surprisingly, surprisingly optimized. I, yeah, I need to get off Twitter, because... That like, as far as self-care... As far as, like, self-care and maturity, that's the kind of man I want to be. But... But politically, no. I bet you want to find a strength to just take my body and just make it fucking healthy again. Now, Clive, have 
Oh, yeah, this is see. Yeah, here's the thing. That game was sort of made for vertical effects with the sole fact that like, you need to see the numbers in order to get what's going on. Oh, yeah. When there was a lot going on on screen, something could give me nuts. You're going to regret that, Yeah, boy. Borderlands is just chaos incarnate. That game has... That series has always been, like, has always been chaotic as hell. Borderlands 4 is in development. Was that an x bone game or was it a uh, PS5 game? It's coming out with consoles. Full consoles. Yeah. Or was it a cross-gen thing? It's both consoles. So it was cross-gen? Maybe. I doubt it, though. You know what game I'm really excited for? It's this uh, game called Bustling World. It's a city builder mixed with uh, Stardew Valley mechanics, and I'm like, I'm psyched for it. Like, you essentially build a Chinese city from the ground up. And controls agriculture and everything, and I'm like, do you know how many hours I'm gonna end up putting into this? You know what I wish they would have done with this game to make justifying doing combos, like being stylish as hell, to justify it? Is because yeah. they should have added a thing that's in the arcade mode where there's like a ranking system. Like, the more combos you get and the more stylish you are, the more high the score goes up. They should have put that into the main game and do it as a sort of way to multiply the amount of XP you've got. Like, if you did, like, a lot of really good combos, you get, like, oh, like, double the XP, for example. Which is a shame they didn't do that, because if they did, it would have justified, you know, combos. Because, like I said, this game was produced by the guy who made, helped produce DMC5. So they should have done oh, that. Oh, sorry. It, like, it makes sense with the game they were making, so I don't know why they didn't do that. Off topic, but has anyone in chat seen... New Alien movie yet? So I'm going to see that Sunday. Speaking of movies... I know um, it got, like, really good reviews. Speaking of movies, um... So the Crow remake came out. When did that release? A few I'm days ago. behind on movie news. A few days ago. And it's just as we suspected. Bad. Yep. You can't remake a classic. It's not possible. Not only that, in terms of the Crow, you didn't have to do Eric first. I mean... The rest of the series is literally just different versions of The Crow. You especially can't remake a classic where the actor where the actor who pl who played The Crow so damn well is essentially what people think of the character. Yes. Which, here's the thing. Uh, Bill Sc Billy Scar uh, Skarsgård, great actor, love him. But Jesus Christ, he did not have to... Jesus Christ, that movie sucks. It's the uh, equivalent of what they did with Chris McClane in Total Drama. Granted, that needed to happen because the original actor was a pedo, but you know what I mean. Are you yeah. hot? I'm fine. So, they sent in the Dragoons. Yep. I assume all new movies are trash. To invade us. Not necessarily. I watched, uh... Their numbers were too few. They were not here to take the recent movie I watched. I haven't fun... watched the recent movie in a while. Take heads. Little fun fact about this game. Um, apparently they didn't do the Japanese dubbing first. Um, what they did is that they took, is that when they were doing the motion capture for the faces, or the facial capture, they didn't do the Japanese ones first, they did the, the English voices first for like the, the Well they probably, they probably did the animation in America, so they just were like, no, fuck it, we'll do the dub for America no, first. No, because they did the English dub first instead of the Japanese dub, they did the English first. Was and it released worldwide the same day? Because they probably... It was released worldwide, and the devs said it themselves. If you're going to play this game, play it in English. Oh, uh, because they have that much faith in the English voice cast? No, it's because, um... Because the animations were made for the English cast, not the Japanese cast. Because when the game came out, the ja it was not lip-synced right for the Japanese dub. I'm sure they passed that. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's what the crow is. That's the one. You mean one of the best fucking action movies ever? Yeah. Which, by the way, the guy who directed John Wick was in that movie, so... That explains a lot. You ride for Rosalind to rally our forces. I will need your help to see Joshua safely back to the capital. Like, if you ask me, Brandon Lee is just the physical embodiment of the crow. That's how well we played that character. Yeah, that's what happened with him. I know. Ended up like his father, unfortunately. 
Oh, they killed the Chocobo. They killed I'm one. Sorry, your grace, but that won't be possible. Bullshit! You can't kill the fucking happy chickens. And they killed the bird. What the fuck? Oh, the snakes. <laughs> Run, Joshua. Run. No. Holy shit! <laughs> he got got. Wow. He got decapitated, Not only bro. That. Can you imagine being a kid and your dad's blood is all over your face? My and God. and you're just and you're just staring at his decapitated head. Holy shit! Yeah, like I said, there's a reason this game's better than. <laughs> and wait, no. Says he's the dominant. Um, watch this. The typical berserk scene. I remember when I watched the trailer for this game, I thought Joshua was Loki going berserk and he destroyed everything, which he did. But, yeah. There's a reason I said this, this, the prologue was gonna take most of the stream. I'm counting on you, Joshua. Oh, fuck. Oh, he's priming. Oh, you usually don't hear the F word in Final Fantasy. Well, this is the first Raider in Final Fantasy, so they wanted to try it out. You know, I had a weird Mandela effect where I thought fucking Final Fantasy 13 was M, but no. Oh man, Soken's music is so good! He's been Super Saiyan 2 on these motherfuckers. He's the Phoenix. What do you expect? God, I love the Phoenix's design. It's so cool. I like the full of fire, and I love it. Oh, shit. He's gonna score crits against those guys. It's all the crits. Critical hit! Also, fun fact, Ben Starr, this is the role that put Ben- Oh! Again, the other bird! Why? Not another chocobo! Not the happy birds! And it's chocobos! And it's the white one, too! The white ones are rare! Butchering a chow, what the fuck? Hey, chocobo meat is good chocobo. this time of year. Dude, chocobos is the equivalent of golden retrievers. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and they killed three of them in this one scene. <laughs> Joshua. I mean, yeah, the kingdom will go hungry. But what the fuck? Uh, not now. Someone is an animal lover. I'm appalled. And because of that, uh, I can't watch any more of this. I like how this the game made Ben Star soar in popularity. Because I remember for Atlas Fallen, they just straight up got Ben Star to redo do all the voice lines for the MC. And it's anyway, great. I'm back. Gotta get you that fast. No. Oh, oh my god. god. I'm an animal lover. I can't watch any more of this. Chocobo, no! Damn it, now I want a Chocobo plushie. How much are those? Let me just check. I want to buy one too. Oh man, Ifrit looks so cool! Ah, oh, damn it, they killed General Guy! Wait, did they just kill the your trainer guy? Yep. I... You could probably guess how this is gonna go since Clive was so close and the only one to see them. So I'm assuming Phoenix is gonna die. No! This whole scene is literally meant to be a tragedy, dude, believe me. He, the dad wasn't the only one dying. Uh, you can get one from Chair e Square Enix, the corduroy chocobo from this game, for thirty-one ninety-nine. Jesus! It's an official plush, what did you expect? Oh, Christ. Them shits are expensive. Oh! Back to the I beginning of the game! I paid for my fucking spirited away plush. Icon of Fire, aka Best Boy Free. Funnily enough, this game likes to glaze Ifrit, because usually in Final Fantasy, Ifrit's like the weakest summon. But in here, it's like, look at this fucking menace, absolutely body every single summon. Are you playing this now instead of watching it cutscene? Um, yeah, I'm playing it now. 
Now I actually gotta aim. I actually gotta aim for once. I can't just spam triangle. So the enemy turned into this thing, and then wait. So what happened? The enemy turned into this thing. Yeah, they freaked. This is not the back story how he became a slave, of course, it's a tragedy. Yeah. Oh man, the way, the way is such a good battle theme, man. It's so good! Wait, his younger brother becomes a slave? No, Clive. It's how Clive became a slave. I'm sorry, then why are there two of me now? Also, it's brutal how he goes out, man. It's insane. Dude, they fucking animated Fuck! an entire kaiju fight. I pressed the wrong button. I low-key wish the game gave you like a style rank and try to do stuff. You can only really get style rank if you're doing like the arcade mode, which sucks. Because I want to actually, you know, get a ranking in the story rather than the arcade mode. Only. You're the one who's also bringing the castle down, child. Yes, also, Away is such a good battle theme. Soak in. Even with cancer, was still releasing bangers, and I love this man. Yeah, the composer who made this was had cancer. Yeah, and he fought it off, and it's amazing. The man fought his cancer and won, and still released banger after banger for FF14 and this game. It's like the world needs my music. Fuck you, cancer. That's exactly what happened. I mean, the guy who composed the soundtrack for Elder Scrolls 4, which is one of my favorite games, almost died in a car wreck He's like, before the game came out. And that's what inspired him to write the soundtrack. <laughs> Nothing quite inspires the soundtrack like death. Yes. Apparently, Apparently so. Uh, I mean, it's like Family Guy says, death's a bitch. So literally, the, one of the most iconic Elder Scrolls themes, March of the Septims, came from a guy almost dying. And Skyrim's theme is built off the back of it, so yeah. God, away is such a good battle. Like, have I, did I, have I finished gushing about how good the battle theme for this is? Yeah, uh, I think you creamed your pants several times already. Yes, that's why I love this game. Yeah, you don't like Fable, it's very simple. This really sucks. In implying yeah. cancer makes you bad at music. Implying <laughs> <laughs> cancer makes you bad at music. I can't use this cancer anymore. Fuck it. Dude, God. No, 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 you're getting this all wrong. He made such a banger soundtrack that the cancer died from just being, like, inadequate. Exactly. The game is like, oh my god, this soundtrack kicks too much ass. I can't exist in this world anymore. Exactly. I've seen the ending of fucking Cells at Work. I know how cancer works. No, I actually do know how cancer works from that show. That show's a very informative medical anime. Surprising. So basically, I'm going to explain cancer to our audience. Will we get you monetized for this? I don't know. Well, it's anyway, not uh, <laughs> I mean, more scientific than anything. Damnation what? in... Oh, God. I mean, you want me to explain or should I just shut my mouth? In a bit. Anyway, I'm about to give chat an anatomy lesson once this fight's over. We now interrupt Final Fantasy to bring you Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm. It's giving me vibes of that shit. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if some devs work on this. 
Because I remember there was a lot of fan theories that Platinum and the KH2 devs help with this game. <laughs> BRB baby stuff. That's fine, JK. Go help your go help your kid. <laughs> Boo! Dude, I had to clean diarrhea off my baby knees today, and oh my god, that stank. I can, I don't, I believe you. Also, watch this. This is like the equivalent of an attack on Titan fight, except more fancy. It's like hey, now, why can't Soccer Wars look like this? I don't know. Soccer Wars, what is keeping you from looking like this? Is that Bud men me that meme? Budget. Man, what is keeping you from looking like this? I don't want to die on the treadmill. Watch this. It is brutal. Like, I actually winced at it. Damn. Dude, this is giving me... Oh, now this is giving me fucking vibes from... Oh my god, what is this fucking devil man cry, baby? Jesus Christ! And the fact you can't see it makes it worse! Oh! We just murdered a child off screen. Yes. <laughs> no! Stop it! Take your hands off my brother! Help me! This guy just lost everything in like a day. In a night. Oh! Joshua! Stop it! Stop it! I mean, you have a sword, dude. Go stab it. Wait, where's Clive right now? Wait, is Clive the beast that's fighting him? Took you long enough. Wait, what? How'd that happen? Remember the fireman you saw? Yeah, and it like took him over. Yeah. Awaken his inner demon, I presume. No. You'll it's you'll find out later. Dude, like this scene when I first Damn, watched it, snapped his neck. And the nuke went off. Holy shit! Dude, when I first saw this scene, it legit made me cry, man. What <laughs> is this game? Uh, I buy this. Seven, it's not, I think it's on sale right now. Still seventy dollars. Oh, okay, kill you. That read right there, shit, dude. It actually is the making motion. The voice actor putting that, <laughs> dude. It's actually making me kind of cry. Actually, <laughs> I'll kill you. Oh fuck it, I can't even do that. I'm not killing my voice. Like, I, like, I can't have, like, imagine reading that line, and your scene is, okay, I need you to do a scene of watching your brother die. And it's like, what? Okay, how old is the brother? He's ten. Oh. Was my brother an asshole? No, he no, was No, he was a sweet little muffin. Shit! Quite a mess that monster made. Damn shame about the Phoenix, And watch this, watch but... this. You're gonna, this is gonna make you hate the mom even more. Because watch this. Damn, dude, Rifton got an HD upgrade. Or, uh, not Rifton. What's the fucking town that gets destroyed in the beginning? Helgen. <laughs> Haven't you done enough, Captain? Oh my god. Joshua was my world. And now he is gone. Yeah, because you're a favoritism bitch. A place for me in the world his radiance seeks to create. I see. Hey, boy, you alive? Yeah. Funnily enough is that he would have killed him, but then the mother's like, nah, oh, I'm a petty bitch, Over so here. I'm going to make him have a fate worse than death. That's literally what happens. He, she's like, oh, no, like, make him useful. Make him be a soldier. Make him a slave if you have to. I'm assuming the, the brother's body dissolved in the ash. The of the flames. Well, Shall considering he's the phoenix. Person. No need for that. Kill him. Hmm. Damn, bitch. You know, we could just take him to the med bay. As my husband never tired of telling me, he is a fine soldier. I'm sure he would make an excellent addition to the Imperial front line. All in its right place. 
As you can see, she believes in the hierarchy, and she wants the hierarchy to remain. Is she in the main villain of this? She's one of. Oh! One. They just kill their fucking uh, servants. Containers. Servants. <laughs> Chin up, lad. You're going to be a soldier. Chin up, lad. You're going to be a fucking soldier. And title card! Final Fantasy 16. And that is how the game... <laughs> yeah, you can see why this game's intro is so fucking intense. Dude, that was so well animated. What the fuck? I felt like I was watching a 3D animated movie. Well, because why do you think there's a bunch of movies for Final Fantasy? <laughs> except, except Spirits Within. Spirits Within fucking sucks. So he's 28 here. You're the Realm 873. Oh, there's my weapon. Ow! Oh my god, this character is also 28. Jesus Christ, what am I doing? Yeah, he's 20. You're lucky. You're not a slave, I'll at least. Back. Yeah. Sorry. What's our situation? Let's just say Shiva and Titan's little spat hasn't made things any easier. No shit. This is still the intro, by the way. Oh god, that's brutal. <laughs> and you know, if face tattoos weren't such a taboo, I'd get something like that. The retreat. The, cur the curse bearer mark. You know what I wanted to get? I wanted to get one of the dragons. I was originally getting one of the dra uh, one of the marks from Yu-Gi-Oh! Five Ds, but now I decided to get a thing in my cap instead. I'll take my chances with the Iron Blood. At least then I might die fighting. My sword from my old playthrough. Hello. After you do, that is. The armor looks so good in this. I know. Like, it's not layered properly, but it's realistic. Yeah, because... Oh, I don't know. Not today. The Actually, no, that is realistic. It's settled. No See how he has the, now, the plate on his shoulders and the chain all over it? Yeah, it's just like, you know, it's just the cloth is over the outfit. That's why it looks like it's not layered right, but it is. Also, even the cl even his like, current cl social status makes the armor more realistic, if that makes sense. Because plate mail is expensive, so lower lower income fighters tend to not to wear it. Because armor wasn't like supplemented from by the king. So as you can see, Clive is he's aged a bit. Yeah, he's my age now. Welcome to back pain, motherfucker. <laughs> Considering the fact he's been fighting this whole time, that back pain's gonna hit real hard. Yeah, really. It's gonna hit like a bitch. What's gonna end up happening is gonna be like forty. And he's gonna be Unlike like my limited. balding ass, though, he stayed hot. Yeah, I mean, look at him. Look at that face. That's a face of fa of. That's a face that'll make women want to draw fan art of him. That's a face that'll make women wet by just looking at him. I mean, considering the fact his main outfit literally has his chest He'll exposed, I'm not on. surprised. There'll be hell finding a way out. Do you think a retreating army and their dominant will fare any better? Nope. I wonder how many copies is sold on the night of release. Considering it was on PS5, probably not to Square's expectations. Although it probably did sell oh. PS5 for a bit. Oh, Why do you have a funny story with, when, how, when Fallout 4 released? What happened? So my brother, in his infinite dumb wisdom, went to the midnight premiere of Fallout 4. When I'm like, I'm like, fuck it, I don't feel like going to the mall and waiting for 12 hours. I'm just going to install it digitally. And I was able to play the game like a whole hour before he was. <laughs> it's like dumb shit. That's why I pre-order my games digitally now. If I'm gonna pre-order, I'm gonna pre-order digitally. Fuck discs. I'm not waiting 12 hours. Listen, if they're gonna make us go digital, I'm gonna embrace it. Did you hear that? Down there. Also, these guys have um so, the equivalent of, of the what's the word for religious fanatics? Where are the rest of them? Zealous. The yep. Zealots. Zealots. Yep. These are the zealots. Our fortunes have turned, Sergeant. I guess cultists would work too. It's her, the dominant. Are you certain? The crystalline orthodox is a backwards faith for a backwards people. In the Iron Kingdom, they teach that dominants are unclean aberrations. So are they mercenaries or are they just like part of the national army? They're slaves. They're forced to be a part of the army. And I 
Mercenaries. Mercenaries, go. We end this quickly. Yeah, so essentially, as you can see, the religious fanatics see guys like him, they use magic and the dominance as, you know, as the guy explained. Which is why these, which is why these assholes, every single one of them, deserve to die a cruel death. For example, they're willing to kill kids, which is already immediately a bad sign where, um, we should nuke their home to oblivion. Am I, am I wrong or am I right? You're not wrong. I mean, there's a reason we abandoned this way of faith, because, you know, you know, we know exactly why. Because people learn to, you know, not be psychotic. Oh, oh no. Oh, are they speaking a different language? Yep. Oh, 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 I love Clive, man. Oh, that's his girlfriend. That's Jill. Like, she's way older now. Jill, babe, don't attack me. Not an enemy. Finally, I got my skills back. They showed gameplay for that new mecha game, and it looked way better in the trailers than it actually does gameplay was. So assuming you weren't able to do half of this shit when the game started. Nope. Originally. Nope. New game plus, baby. When does it show you the skill tree? Right now, actually. As you say, I don't look that intimidating compared to most Final Fantasies. Yeah. The skill tree here is mostly just, oh, you want this cool skill to do combos with? Then here you go. Oh, so it's not like the one from uh, Final Fantasy... <laughs> yeah. No, the one from, uh, fucking... 13. Well, no, the one prequel that came out for PS4. Um... For PS5. Origins? Yeah, it's not like that one where... You can only get certain skills in third class. Yeah. To be honest, I can either argue which either this game or that game has more depth. I can't really tell which one has more. Because I think that one does. I like the fact that you can like essentially evolve in the third class. Whereas this one has a lot of room for combos because of the fact you know it's a DMC like. Like that one also had a lot of MMO inspiration sitting on the platform somewhere. Well, it's come from a well, from devs that have been doing RPGs for a while now, so they know how to make it work. Damn, she has disrespected you as you killed her friend. I'm just seeing you do these combos and it's hurting my brain, so I'm trying to mentally map them and like throw them in my head. Does it require like quarter circles and shit, or is it just like... No, it's literally just hold the button down and press the face button that corresponds with it. Which is why I was hoping for like actual inputs like that, because... It just seems like it would work better. I'm hoping there's a mod for PC that allows you to do proper DMC inputs, but I doubt that's going to be the case. Shit like that's pretty hard to do. Because DMC was originally an arcade cut, or made by arcade devs. The second one. The second one was, yeah. God, yeah, those fucking animations. See, even the game gives you a double trigger. Assuming you kill her? No. Experience. Flawless frozen tier using crafting. Can we like not make games of crafting these days? I don't like crafting in video games unless no, it's like a farming sim. No, it's like um how a typical JRPG crafting where it's like, oh you wanna make a new weapon? Okay, have these materials. It's like that. It's nothing to, to nothing to. Oh, yeah, sure. Is she dead? It's I not a survival so. sim. Well, what are you waiting for? Oh, oh he didn't know it was her. He didn't. He hasn't. He hasn't seen her for thirteen years, man. No, no, that's. Yes, thirteen. <laughs> oh, I'll bloody do it then. Oh, oh shit! Nice. Fucking 
jugular. He My was God. fucking sniped, bro. Uh, if you're gonna kill our guys, that's our job. We've got company, Wyvern. Doing. Lord Hilda, I, the abomination. Look at these bargain bin Skyrim dudes, man. They were in like the fucking Dovahkiin outfit and not even pulling it off right. Yeah, really. <laughs> Sorry, Jill. God, imagine like imagine voicing this game, like Imagine voicing this game and just reading these lines and the way the story's just built up. It's just like it's just so depressing this early on. Like, it just feels like there's no hope. You, Perfect for a dark fantasy game, but Jesus Christ. Is it depressing for the first, like, half? I just saw a medieval faux pas. See how he drew the sword from his back? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, that's blame that on RPG, RPG concepts. It's possible, but really only practical with a one-handed or a two-handed sword. So we could be done Which his sword is one-handed, so... I mean, Shadow Varsity figured it out, but it's still really impractical. I won't. The problem isn't drawing it. The problem is figuring out how to put it back. You can't really see the scabbard on your back. Betray. I don't recall ever pledging allegiance to your emperor. My service may have been bought with this brand, but not my loyalty. I just fight to survive. And you think I don't? Who's voice acting the main character here? Ben Starr. I've been telling you this over and over. So if you won't take her, I don't know about that, man. You're getting hit with the best spells in the game. I'm not dying here today. Holy shit. And neither is she. Let's find out. I'm assuming it's supposed to be like a sword fight, but you're hitting with like the best spells. <laughs> yes, it's supposed to be like just a regular duel, but I'm out here just spamming the best attacks in the game. Plus DLC spells. The two attacks like the water and this one are DLC spells. You get these in the DLC. Oh, really? Yeah. I like the, 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 I parry. Oh, you're actually gonna kill him. Can you block attack? No, they're only dodge. You can parry, but no block. Which is weird. Like I said, it's kind of hard to have an anime style sword fight without the king, king. We can parry, it's just really hard to do because you gotta time your strikes perfectly. That's what this combat system reminds you of. It reminds you of like late anime beach. Fair enough. <gasps> Luckily, these cursed bears don't use Wi Fi, so essentially, he's good. <laughs> yeah. So, the main character might want to learn to double tap. Oh, don't worry, he's gonna handle it just fine. Watch this. You're gonna love this. And God shall strike thee with vengeance upon thee. What was the quote from Pulp Fiction again? Oh, I was just gonna quote fucking uh, Frieza, but whatever. It was a quote from Pulp Fiction I was trying to think of. Furious anger from thy Lord. And may God strike me down where I stand. Nice try, jackass. <laughs> Fucking love that quote from Dragon Ball Z Bridge. Yes. <laughs> you knew what I was referencing? Oh, dude, I know, but it sounded so fucking funny. <laughs> it was perfect, that was also a lightning bolt. Ha! Nice try, jackass! <laughs> Do you know the Dragon Ball, the DBZA voice actor, and the actual original Frieza voice are best friends? Nice. Oh, shit. Oh, look at this! Hey, he was best also friends with Chris Ayers, but you know what happened to him. Hey, hey, Sid. Usually you're blonde, but here you're hot. This one. 
He's also here. You're not. He's also voiced by the dude who did um, um, he was from uh, AC4. Well, the actor. Well, He's an actor for from AC4. Uh, Sid's. No, were they the people that just zapped these bitches? Yeah, he's yeah, he's the one that zapped them. Fuck. Fuck. And there's your M rating. Yes, more than five. Three times. More than five F bombs in a row. Let's go. <laughs> I'm pretty sure a teen game isn't even allowed to say fucking general. So. You can only say it once, like the PG-13 rated. They only really say it once. I remember, because I remember Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance got away with saying Hugo hell. Of course the mom is the leader of these idiots. No, that's someone else. You had taken care when chasing the hair. Benedict is someone else. I expected more from the mighty Titan. Annabelle's a different person entirely. Gotcha. You put the Ice Queen on her back. No doubt. Oh, great. But you'll have to work harder if you're to claim this prize. Why is the world with this Final Fantasy in particular so desolate? Well, considering there is a blight attack in the town or the kingdom, and resources are heavily scarce along with slavery running rampant. Yeah. It's, uh, you can understand why. Not only that, you have literally the people with the power of gods destroying everything, so it makes sense, right? Yeah. So it's understandable why everything, I don't know, just sucks. Little dark fantasy. Yeah, I'm not used to seeing dark fantasy Final Fantasy. Yeah. It's very rare, isn't it? Is it they usually go for like a uh, sci fi medieval life. Yeah, well, that was only with seven. After that, they. After 15, they wanted to go back to their roots. Which is why I'm expecting 17 to go back to sci fi, but still keep the combat from this one and improve it. Well, right now, they're probably developing yeah, part three of the nice remake thing. trilogy for Final Fantasy seven. Yeah, which. Fine yeah. Who saved your life? That's who. Torgal. Hey. His name is Torgal. You two acquainted? Well, uh, he sound familiar? I won't mind taking him off my hands. I don't know who that is. He's a certain character from AC4, always and was essentially always on. Side. He's essentially the one that was killed by that Edward Rosfield. Blackbeard? No. He was someone that called Blackbeard a coward. Now, fleet is I don't remember. A it's been a while since I played that game. I'd heard rumors that you'd survived, but I never paid them much heed. <laughs> Calm down. I didn't come all this way for your handsome mug. Now her, on the other hand, she seemed worth muddying my boots for. Vane. That's his name. Charles Vane. Oh. None the worse for wear. AKA the guy that robbed Still Edward of his food. Oh, that guy? Yeah. Hey! Leave the big guy alone. I mean. God, I love Sid in this game. Bef Usually they make Sid a mechanic. Here he's like a suave, like, dad, and I love him for it. It's alright. <laughs> like how the big guy just sounds like, I want to be here, man. You want to help her, don't you? Sid, if we aren't back soon, none will have our heads. Main character got out of slavery really quickly. I'll explain everything once we're back at the hideaway. Come on. Not quickly. It took him 13 years, so. Only 13 years. <laughs> Only 13 years. Only 13 years. He stayed determined. He's fine. Yeah, he's fine so far. He I mean, I mean, he didn't. He wasn't loyal, so it made sense. Cutscene, you mean? Yeah. Oh, Central Storm. Oh, yeah, this is the Blight. Um, what you're seeing right now is the Blight. Um, essentially, 
it's an area full it's essentially an area where you can't use magic as in you try to it's just like not gonna work for you <laughs> like anything immediate the, silence yeah anything the blight touches you can't use magic or grow food there damn Almost and really Sid is the only one that knows the reason he'll explain it later why are all not wearing like masks or something the well, it's not. It's not Maybe dangerous no trees, if you breathe it. No it's just gonna only no affect magic. the magic. Yeah, but I mean, there's dust constantly flying in their face. The last place. They're probably used to it by now. Look. Yeah, the blight basically just uh, nullifies any and all magic. Sweet soul. Cave, sweet cave. I have my own bedroom. He actually does. <laughs> Damn it, really? <laughs> he actually... <laughs> <laughs> he actually does! Because, uh... Fucker. But yeah, as you can see, Sid is an absolute daddy. That's what he is. I mean, look at him. Oh, welcome back, JK. But as you can see, Sid is an absolute Chad from his voice into his looks. You can see why there are so many fan arts of him. I'm not gay, Sid here, however. <laughs> I'm not gay, Sid here. This place. These are fallen ruins. Listen, Sid has a monster dong that I just want to shove up. I mean, uh, I'm not gay. But how do you survive without magic? How does anyone? Hard work and a bit of nap. You must be starving. We grow them here. Believe it or not. Hmm? So we use our own shit to fertilize them. You're back. Ah, tired. And this is the dominant. How cold since we found her. I was hoping you might give her a look over. All right. Goots. Well, let's see. Better from what I could tell, from what I can see from here, she has multiple stab wounds, Don't slashes, um, bruises, uh, possibly three types of concussions, five broken ribs, a fire a few times. Uh, burn marks everywhere. Um, possibly liquid in her lungs. Are we trying to drown her? Yes. Yeah. But yeah, so I, can, I can patch her up. She'll be fine. <laughs> Avada Kedavra. Oh, whoops! Wrong spell. Kill Kills her. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no, Voldemort's real and he's back! I'd be surprised if he wasn't. The smell of war is thick about him. Yes, it is. Oh, wait, wrong way. This is the bar, not the fucking room. Hold on. I mean, any base with a bar is a base of mine. I mean, look at this bar. It looks, not gonna lie, this looks like a comfy bar. They probably have to use chocobo guano to grow food. Nah, man, they, they use their own shit like real men. We're just casting summon gun. <laughs> just casting summon gun. I'm just working on a pet project of mine. Though she's not above biting the hand that feeds her. Hey, why is the patient screaming out in pain? I actually casted Crucio. You know what's right. fucked up? That's gonna happen immediately after. Try and solve the mystery of poor Clyde Wait, Rossfield. I was making a Harry Potter joke, what? A bearer uh, of the San Brequa Imperial Army sent behind enemy lines. With orders to wait until it turned into a brawl, then slit the dominant's throat. Who the voice. hell is voicing this man? That voice is incredible. No, it was her. The guy that voiced Charles Vane in AC4. Oh. And so to save her He's also from Game of Thrones. Then slit your sights, <laughs> then set your sights on the hills. I actually got and Game of Thrones people for this. How the Empire deals with deserters. Because with that on your chop, my friend, we both know you won't be getting I love the devil's like, we're making a game based off Game of Thrones. Everyone, here's my here's my HBO Max account. Go nuts. <laughs> That's a guarantee that from what happened. A long way, Lord probably, Rossfield. or they probably just had a company one, considering. <laughs> oh, you know what? They probably just had a company one and just wrote it off as a tax expense. Let's yeah, see. that makes sense. They probably just had a projector, sat him down, all down, had him watch. Hold on, I'm trying to figure out who voiced Sid. A lot of it said that I'm a poor host. What do you mean to do with her? Do with her? Why nothing? Yeah, I'm glad you missed me. Her now. If I wanted to use her, do you think I'd be talking to you? All I want to do is help. Dominance like her, 
branded like you. Ralph and in his son. Let's see, where's he why from? We live in a cave. <laughs> <laughs> why we live? And it's also why we need help. Wait, what? What one of our viewers were you saying was like actually really missing me? Yeah, he actually was. What say you? JK or who was it? Jet. Will you join us? Oh, Jet. Have we seen Jet in a while? Oh uh, yeah, we have. <laughs> of course, I recognize his accent. This motherfucker was born in the UK in Yorkshire. No wonder I recognize his accent. This motherfucker has a voice that can literally move mountains. He just talks in a mountain. It's like I'm gonna move over now. Oh, let's see. He was in. He was a Death Eater in Harry Potter and the Half Blood Prince. Oh, he was in the Harry Potter movies. Oh shit! No wonder he's so good. Is he Sirius Black? He might have been the actor for Sirius Black. So he had a really uh, deep voice. What is? Yeah, he's known in the First Night from Hell. In his film credits include First Night from Hell, Sex, Drugs, and Rock and Roll, and a brief role in The Damn United. He plays Amicus Caro, in a Death Eater in Harry Potter, and the Half Blood Prince. Harry Potter and Deathly Hallows. He was one of Voldemort's minions, really. He was Amicus Caro. Don't know who that is, but okay. Okay, hold on. Let me let me see if I can find other roles for him. Let's see, uh, Ralph any son roles. HBO's like, we just need people. We'll hire anyone. Sid, was it? I trust that you'll do right by Jill. But until my brother is avenged, I must walk my own path. Avenged? My brother was murdered by a second dominant of fire. Phoenix is evil twin. Oh, bugger me. I'm What's funny is that they expect this to be like a big old twist, but I, I think anyone could easily figure it out that it was Clive. Joshua, Thirteen years right? I've waited for this chance. Yeah. I slept in like, filth. Oh, it's like, it's like first off, where was Clive during the whole thing? What happened to him? Why didn't it show his face when he was like his brother was dying? The Empire will not And why was he having that headache? It was pretty obvious it was him. Will be my best Clive was using his, Clive was jacking off into his chamber pot at the last. time. Which is why you should join us. I told you I'm not interested, I know. One of my scouts sent word there's a group of branded fugitives north of here, in the Imperial village of Lost Wing. Among them is one he believes to be a dominance of fire. Is he certain? What say we go and ask him? <laughs> By the way, sir, you shouldn't smoke. Those will actually kill you. Joining you. Among, among us, among us. Um, 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 I love um, the medieval um, period. Um, they have um, actual among um, 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 among us. Actual modern cigarettes weren't a thing till like the 1700s, right? I don't know. You need down in the mine well, either, well, either way, they found the way to smoke something, so they're gonna That's use cool. it. <laughs> I mean, oh wait, no, I'm wrong. They actually smoked weed in the Roman times, so I don't know. Well, let me look this up. Now I'm curious. When were cigarettes? Also, look how buff Clive is. Compare his kid self to his grown-up huh. self, and he is buff as fuck. He is built, man. Look at him. He's built. And he's 20. Wow, cigarettes. What? And he's 28, mind you. He's your age, and he did better in life. The first recorded smoking of tobacco was by Spanish explorers in the 16th century who introduced the plant to Europe. Cigarettes as we know them today were not popularized until the popular, popular, oh, I can't say the word popularized tonight, what the fuck? Popularized until the 19th century. Popular, popularized, Jesus Christ, brain. When the first machine for rolling cigarettes was invented in France in 1843. Wow, so we didn't have modern cigarettes in the 1800s. One of Sid's trusted goots, one of Sid's trusted That's allies, a gentle giant who has a warm word for everyone. Popularized. How does one go about that here? Uh, well, uh, there's old Popular. nun's place. Popularized. Popularized. Uh, uh, on second thoughts, uh, you maybe want to see Blackthorn first. Why does... Blacksmith. Bro... The, the, the character designers for Final Fantasy 16 must have went on a ha on haywire. They probably got all the women in the office and were like, question, does this look hot to you? 
<laughs> like, would you fuck this man? <laughs> and the office just agreed, aye. And then, like, every single time they wrote a dude, it's like, would you fuck this man? Aye. Would you fuck this man? Aye. <laughs> <laughs> they put to the janitor who just hasn't had any in years. And he's like, would you fuck this man? And his dick just shoots right up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> It's the stupidest thing I've said all night. No. Uh, <laughs> 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 yes. Also, fun fact, Jill, uh, with in terms of like the female characters, obviously they also look hot too. But be but apparently people must have loved Jill because in the popularity call and who was the best uh, uh, female ca female cast member in the series, she overtook Tifa. Really? Yeah, she overtook Tifa. Why well, do you want my favorite fuck? Hold up on, bear it right back, bear it right back. Yeah, let's hear it. Are you Blackthorn? Uh, all right, a cop pulls a guy pulls a guy over in a small town, and the guy's like, "Yeah, the cop pulls a guy a guy over in a small town, and the cop's like, or no, the pedestrian's like, "Hello, cop." This is a small town; everyone knows each other. He's like, "Hello, Jim. How's the wife?" And then the cop Jim is like, "You know, she's been dead for years now, Harold." And then the and then Harold's like, that's what you get for pulling me over. <laughs> Basically, the gag is everyone knows each other. <laughs> I'm not here to talk. I'll be accompanying Sid to Lost Wing, and I need you to see to my equipment. You could be accompanying the goddess Grieger to our holy bedchamber, for all I care. I'm not lifting a finger for you. Is that God, every single one of their voices is so gravelly. I love it. <laughs> Speaking of drunk, I'm gonna let me figure it for you. Here's some booze. It's like, oh, you basically have my attention. <laughs> That's exactly what happens. It's like that pilot joke from the Hasbin Hotel Dude, pilot, where it's like, not. you think you can win me over with cheap booze? That. Well, you can. Damn you, dumbs. <laughs> He's like, all right, all what right, do you want? All right, no need to be hasty. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look at you. And that was like fucking palace rot wine. That's a good shit. I doubt that lot could stay a Moogle's fart. Bloody Imperials. They'd rather see their bearers dead than kid it out properly. I'll do what I can. As a favor to So essentially, Clive's been fighting with a rusty ass sword for years now. Yeah. Which is shocking. No, I will not equip because the art sucks. And the bell, Caesar Square. You want anything else? You bring your own materials. I'll bear that in mind. Thank you. Mm. Uh, just brings life. in several. Damn, just thinks it's Monster Hunter and brings in game. several fucking goblin pals. It's like, what can you make me out of these? Oh, I see, I'm busy here. Yeah? Ultimate weapon. Oh boy, that's gonna be a grind and a half. Oh boy. Isn't it? We were playing Fates. Four hours, I think. Our longest on your end though was I think Goodbye Volcano High. That was the longest we've done. Like goodbye what now? Goodbye Volcano High was the longest we've done. Oh, that was. Yeah, I just wanted to finish it. Yeah. Did we do it on stream or did we not do it on stream? Uh. We did it on stream. Okay, cool. But yeah, anyways, me and him are getting tired. I gotta do something in a bit, even though it's midnight on my end. Um. For those that enjoyed the stream. I thank you all for coming along and watching me gush about this game for like three hours. Uh, and um, I would really appreciate you guys subscribe. Go subscribe to this man. He would. Uh, he needs it. Um, 150 of you, please go sub to this man. And we'll play some SMT4. On his end. I'm going to get the laugh as I watch him lose his mind. <laughs> I know you will. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm hope yeah, cause here's the thing. I'm hoping to do more FF16 because it's a game I genuinely love to play. Maybe Saturday, cause I don't know, man. Something I like, something about this game is just so fun to me. I know it. Throw a hell item on this bitch. 
not only that, the game is hella long, so we're gonna have a long time to finish it, so it's gonna be a long one. <laughs> Compared huh. to, it's gonna be a long, long, long one, because 100%ing it, it takes a long time. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed the oh, stream. Oh, I know, well. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the stream. I would appreciate you subscribed. Um, and like the stream if you guys, in case you liked it. For those that are new and watching this after it's streamed, and that's the case you can watch it all the way through, which you guys are chats for that. Uh, please subscribe if you like the, like the stream, like the stream if you enjoyed it, and leave any comments for and nice things to say about me or anything or any shit talk. So, um, yeah. Or nice things to say about me. JK, JPL is totally not gay. Oh, that's nice of you to say. Too Says, bad I'm a flaming homo. Nah, I'm not gay. <laughs> Says he's not gay. Simps for the man on screen right now. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. He has a face tattoo. This man's obviously been to prison. Oh, shit. What'd you do? Uh, capture card. Oh, boy. Good thing we were ending it anyway. Uh... Uh, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Like, like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And... I'm gonna need a secondary save editor for this. Hold on. Let me deactivate, activate. There we go. And, you know, we're gonna stream here. Good night, guys and gals. Love y'all. Visors. <laughs>